All right, let's do this. So, the last time I worked on a bike, it took a while. So, I'm gonna try not to waste any time here. I'm still gonna try to hang out, read your comments and everything, but I gotta get this thing going. So, let's start. So, let's, let's set the stage here. Ibis let me take a brand new Mojo 4, Mojo HD4 to Switzerland. I'm leaving tomorrow. It is a brand new bike. So there's a lot of stuff that has to be done on a brand new bike. Stuff I'm not even capable of doing. So we're gonna, we're gonna get through this. <laughs> we're gonna get through this. It's still light outside here. It's eight o'clock on the West Coast. What time is it where you guys are? Got my computer screen uh, big enough, so hopefully I can read everything. Get the duct tape ready. That's a damn good. That's a damn good thing. Costa Rica. Awesome. Sweden, 5 a.m. Good morning. Awesome. Let's do this. <laughs> Kyle's showing my dad some of the videos. Nice. So. I'm not going to keep it. It's just a, it's a test ride. I'm going to Switzerland for two weeks, so after two weeks, I'll send it back to them. Super jazzed that uh, they let me try this thing out. So it's it's going to be it's going to be over my pay grade, so it's going to be fun for sure. So first step, clamp the dropper post. That is the very first step that we're going to take here. Ooh. I'll talk about the specs and the stuff. Oh, Mountain Bike Geek coming through with five Aussie dollary dues. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Put some Swiss cheese or chocolate. 1 p.m. Oh, okay. You're gonna uh, you're gonna be able to hang out for a while if it's only 1.30 in Australia. We're gonna have a lot of Australians uh, losing productivity today. Something fun about the live streams and just kind of having them on and having them on in the background, it's uh, it's pretty nice. Hey, what's up, Patrick? All night built before the flight. You're right, Brian. <laughs> Got to get it done. So this has a dropper post, but I should we do the dropper post cable routing first? I guess that's the way to do it. Let me drop this. Uh, let me drop this down here. Jamie Eccles. Hey, hey, NZ saying hello. Thank you for that super chat, my friend. We're going to get full on Southern Hemisphere up in this bitch tonight. You guys are going to be tuckered out. You North Americans are not going to be able to hang. I'll tell you that much. We are going, we are going down under. What's up, biker? I, <laughs> you guys know? that all you need is a bike to be a biker, so go be one. Be one, K-E-R, channel, biker, shout out. <laughs> all right, so, dropper post. How the, how the hell do you fish out a dropper post cable if it's already routed internally? Let's see here. It's routed here. Oh, I gotta be able to see these chats here. Col Columbia. Almost got it, almost got it, Rob. Not quite, that's all right. The Bronson is not perfect, man. There's always another pretty girl out there. I will always be testing out new bikes. That's the goal. Walt Robinson hitting with 10. Man, you're killing it. Thanks for the motivation in the videos. I'm a fan for life. Thanks, Walt. I'm a fan of you, buddy. It was really cool. I got to meet Walt in uh, Asheville. So always cool to put the faces to the names and to get people fired up. And that's what this is all about. It, I just, uh, biker, B1 biker, uh, that's in the chat right now. He just invited a bunch of us up to, he invited his fans up to Downeyville for a camp out, had a blast, it was fun as hell, got to meet a bunch of people that were fans of his channel, fans of my channel, and it was awesome. That stuff fires me up like none other. All right, ooh, I should leave this on, I'm just gonna mess it up. It's so nice. Okay, so this, this is the dropper post lever right or cable right here. We're gonna force this up. 
Oh, we have liftoff. I can see it. I'll be a friggin' bike mechanic one day. Did you guys see my Instagram story? Did you see it? Did you see what's going on in the backyard? I, I didn't want to take the phone out and do all that, but, uh, oh, <laughs> mountain bike geek is, uh, is, uh, knocking on my shirt because I'm wearing the classic BKXC red and white shirt. He just sent me a couple shirts. So sorry, John, but, uh, they'll, they'll get their day in the sun. I'm sure. But, uh, I want to know who has the original red and white BKXC shirt and who has ruined theirs and didn't take my advice to buy two because you know when you buy a shirt that you friggin' love that's never gonna come out again, you gotta buy two of them. All right, here we go. Let's see. Let's see if I'm in frame here. Yes, I do have my bottle of generic ass cleaner ready, ice cream trucker. You are right about that. I actually. I should make like a little bottle with like a just Brian's generic ass uh, cleaner on here. That would be a freaking awesome gag. So yeah, dish soap. Might need to refill the dish soap. I don't imagine this being too dirty, so it's uh, not bad. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, Brian Bond's red, uh, red and white BKXG shirt is uh, solid. Mojo HD4, carbon. Seems like carbon to me. Aha! Mountain bike geeks wearing my shirt at work. All right. What could go wrong? Gotta give this a little bit of here. Perfect. This is not as hard as I thought it was gonna be. Outdoor awesomeness, <laughs> five bucks from Evan. Too bad about the demo footage. Yeah, Evan, yeah. So if you guys saw my Instagram story today, uh, I rode with Evan and Isaac and uh, Alex, and I'm glad I didn't mess your guys' name up right there. But uh, in demo, in SoCal demonstration for us, uh, a couple days ago, it was an awesome ride, but the Feutech wearable gimbal two, the one that I got, it was not it wasn't good it's not up to par like it was very shaky the, the footage is is pretty bad i've got a video i've got a ton of videos like outputting on my computer that's why i'm in this room right now because my laptop is working overdrive right now to to get to get all my videos processed before i hop on the plane so stay tuned for my little feyu tech review i mean it's possible that it was just a bad unit and that you know they could send me a new one and i could Play with it again, but eh, no thanks. So yeah, Evan, thank you for that five bucks, man. It was super fun riding with you guys. I dig it. Oh, thanks, Thomas. I'm glad you're uh, enjoying the old Patreon. That is an amazing thing. That's what makes this possible. I think a lot of people get mad when I say that, but this would not happen without Patreon. And of course, the Super Chats are friggin' fantastic. Steve Y in the house. Good riding with you at Downeyville. Steve had his first Downeyville experience over the weekend at the biker camp out. Let's make sure everything's going here. Looking good, just checking. Hand of gloves in the house. YouTube live, baby. Dun, dun, dun. This up here a little bit. Mm, not perfect, but uh, hey, actually, let's uh, test out the old dropper post, huh? Okay, I'm trying not to put too much force on the fork, but it's a carpet. Oh, here we go. Here we go, KS Lev. We are rocking and rolling, people. I will not clamp the dropper post at this moment. It's not my bike to abuse. Oh, this is tough. We gotta change the camera angle for my struggles here. Dun, dun, dun. Utah, nine o'clock. Oh. <laughs> 
you, you guys okay? <laughs> uh, that's funny. Let me let me get back into let me get back into gear here. <laughs> I got the 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 thing plugged in. Had to go into party mode on that one. All right, let's get this shot lined up. Boom! boom. <laughs> I'm suing you for damages. I was injured. Jerky boys, baby. Okay, here we go. All right. <laughs> Broke his arm. There's a lot, a lot of people claiming injury here. I just don't think it's right. Yeah, this silver is actually pretty dope. And that uh, hint of green on the bottom. There was no snow at the top, Jessica. Little tiny, tiny patches, which was funny because it was dusty as hell down below. So the snow had been cleared off for a long time, a little bit lower down. Good to see you, Jessica. It's been a while. Dupree Motorsports with the 20 buck super chat. Thank you, man. I appreciate that very, very much. So let's, uh, let's start talking about the wheels. This is not my new bike. This is just an Ibis Mojo HD4. I emailed Scott at Ibis, the owner, and I said, hey man, I'd love to take out one of your bikes on an adventure. And he was like, hell yeah, let's do it. So Scott Nickel made this happen. It is an amazing milestone for my channel to actually, you know, have SRAM send me stuff to test out. Have Ibis send me stuff to test out. Like it's huge. It means that you guys are doing what you need to do. I'm doing what I need to do to basically get people motivated to get on the bike. But now I've gotten distracted. I need to get back to work. After, I'd say thanks to Tim Jones for the $10 whiplash. Whoo! <laughs> thanks, buddy. So, we've got uh, Ibis 742 carbon wheels that are coming with this, and it's the 742 logo. So basically, there's an option to have i9 hubs or Ibis hubs. So these are the Ibis brand hubs. and. There's sealant in here, so I'm not gonna mess around with it. Good to go. And Shimano uh, rotors, and I'll get to everything as I go along. Ten another $10 from Dallin Mitchell. Dude, thank you guys. That is funny. I think you guys are from down under. You gotta let me know if you're from, uh, from the UK or, or uh, South Africa or Australia or New Zealand, because uh, I'm thinking we've got a whole down under vibe here going, Southern Hemisphere vibe going, and I'm digging it. Cheers from Colombia, Philippe. Long live BKXC. Thanks, Dupree. <laughs> I friggin' dig it, man. Dig it so much. Okay. How we do? So, dropper post. Good to go. It's not very straight. Let's make sure it's tight so it doesn't friggin' fall off the, the whole thing. Make sure I put my tools everywhere. Peru. Man, you guys, you South American dudes, I love that you show up and that you say, where you're from. Derby. Hell yeah. Canada. There is a lot of Aussies in here. This is friggin' great. <laughs> Nicholas just said SRAM GX Eagle is a uh, chicken because you can still afford food after you buy it. And that's right. This is SRAM GX Eagle on here. Let's open up these cranks. Smooth as butter. Double checking the tightness. Get that a little bit tighter. All right, we got the Fox DPX2 and a Fox 36 on the front, which is pretty damn good. Bust this bad boy out. Somebody's always uh, chiming in from North Korea. It's pretty amazing. I got quite the audience. Oh yeah, you gotta, you gotta bring out the BKXC gloves. Don't try this at home. This is only for advertising purposes. My computer just went to sleep. What in the world? Are you kidding me? We can't have that. Hold on just a second. I didn't buy another bike. This is a demo bike. This is a, uh, Ibis is gonna hook me up. Let me take a, let me take some, uh, some laps on this thing for a few weeks and I'm gonna send it back. That's basically the goal is to just get out on all kinds of different bikes and 
just get out there. Ah, oh, Cash Panda. Cash Panda. <laughs> Dude, Christmas in July. Thanks, man. 10 Canadian dollar dues. I don't get to keep the bike. I'm expecting a very, very good performance out of this thing. I, you know, I'm, I'm not the best at following the Enduro World Series and everything, but I believe that someone won one of the EWS, uh, you guys will correct me, but I think someone took an EWS win on the Mo Mojo 4, so. If that's good enough for them, it's good enough for me. You know what I mean? I'm still messing with my settings on my computer to try to make it not fall asleep right now. Mr. Wignut's showing up, as he does, with a $5 super chat. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Oh, that's funny. I, get, I do get a kick out of some of your names, but I do also really appreciate it when you have your, your regular name and your face as your avatar because I can just zero right in on them. Oss MT Biker is in the house. Hey, my computer is acting like crap right now. All right. Whatever, I'll just come back and uh, wake up my, uh, Pande, okay, Cash Pande, thank you, dude. I, it should be pronounced that way, but it's so easy to say, uh, Panda. All right, California Cruising with a $2 super chat. Thank you, supporting another Bay Area rider. And even two bucks, it matters, it counts. That's like what I say on Patreon. Some people are like, oh, you know, it's, all, it's only three bucks a month. It is fucking huge. Three bucks a month is huge, believe me. It all adds up. All right, we got the Fox 36. Got the axle in the front. We've got the, whoa, he's bringing it down. Okay, so, handlebar needs to get busted out. Let's do that over here. Oh, handlebar gloves, get some dinner. It's, hey, food is over, man. We are, we are plowing through this. But that, that 30 bucks will be able to buy me, uh, like, 20 McNuggets at the airport. <laughs> Thanks, Cody. Tools out. All right. The old handlebar here. Try not to blow anything up. Oh yeah. It's been so long since I've ridden the 5010, but uh, you know what? I'm I'm. I'm shying away from the shorter travel bikes. That's really the way I've been going, right? My favorite bike is the Yeti SB6. The, the, I'm, oh, the Bronson's great, but you know, I just don't mind having a heavier bike if it means having more, uh, more ability to erase my mistakes. Dun, dun. All right, I just branded handlebar. Aluminium, as you guys make fun of me for saying aluminum. Five bucks from Raj AL, RJAL. Hello from Los Angeles. Cherry Canyon, huh, I haven't heard about that one, man. That's, uh, that's interesting. I've heard about a lot of them, but I haven't heard of Cherry Canyon. This is not a plus bike, but these tires are wide as hell because the Ibis rims, the asymmetrical Ibis rims are super wide. So it's kind of uh, just comes with the territory, basically. And we've got a DHF on the front and the rear. So I dig that. <laughs> I don't care how heavy the bike is. I don't care how heavy the tires are. I just want it to work. I'll, I'll, I'll probably end up running a downhill bike <laughs> at some point because of how much I want the power, how much I want the mistake erasers. Rock throwing tires. Yes, exactly. Rock scoopers, as I, as I call them. <laughs> yeah, Scott uses the Ibis rims. Nice. That's funny. I saw, uh, there's new Bronson colors on the Santa Cruz website. I don't think they did anything to the Bronson, but I think the new colors are, are out. You guys are super distracting, but <laughs> that's, this is what I signed up for. So we're going for it. All right. So we get the bars going. It's not going to be a perfect uh, bar install at the moment. We're just, this is all roughing it in right now. It's not a five, it's a four. How was the thumbnail on this? I uh, I thought I did a good one, but I think it's probably just like a, a random, a random seat post. <laughs> if it's actually my face, then that's what I was going for. 
I'm hoping you guys are watching my Instagram stories because you guys could see uh, the Nuggetorium took shape today and I cannot friggin' wait to get that thing built out. That So, basically three of my dreams for the channel all came, you know, together within a few days. So, a giant dream of mine is to hit 75,000 subscribers. It's huge. It, it means that this thing is going to last, that I did something. The second dream is to get a company to send me a bike that I can go test and have fun on and then send it back, like all the other magazines and all that stuff. Huge, 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 huge. Third dream is to build out a mountain bike shed and a workshop in the backyard so I can, you know, just make all kinds of videos out there, learn to be a better mechanic. And basically, if you Google mountain bike workshop or shed, Seth's video, the one only from like a month ago comes up. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you guys for help and ideas and all that stuff. So I can't wait. Charlie, Kenestrak, Kenestrak, Kenestraki. <laughs> Carly Kenestrasi, can you go in a bit of detail on your DBO versus Rock Shocks experience? <laughs> You're, you are asking the wrong dude, man. <laughs> ah, DBO versus Rock Shocks. Basically, I switched to Rock Shocks so I could learn more. So I could be like, oh, okay, DBO feels like this, Rock Shocks feels like this, Fox feels like this. So now I've got Fox for a couple weeks, right? I'm just not an expert. It, it, it should come through to you guys that I'm not an expert. I'm trying to use feel and I really, I don't know, I think you need to be an expert to notice the difference with DVO, to notice the difference and use the off the top and all that stuff. So it, it is what it is. If I feel something different, like I just had the, the SRAM Guide Ultimate Brakes on my bike on, in Downeyville, I felt the difference. I felt like I was being able to brake and stop big time. So there you go. A check mark for SRAM Guide Ultimate Brakes. DVO versus RockShox. It's a, it's a roll of the dice for me. It's a toss up. Both feel great. Tell us about my career, past career as a web developer. So, uh, I was always a web guy. Uh, and then eventually I became a web developer, but, oh, it's too long of a story. It's way too long of a story, but you guys, you, you definitely, uh, deserve to hear it, but you, you got a lot out of that uh, question first. So, so yeah, I was, I was a web guy out of college. I taught myself HTML and CSS. I went to work for a newspaper for seven years. And then I worked for potsandpans.com, like we've talked about. And, uh, and, uh, and yeah, and then I actually quit that job to go to dev boot camp and to learn like more programming skills. And then I came back to that job with a better title, got paid more money. And then I saw this whole mountain bike thing as a possibility. So I quit that job and did this. So <laughs> nothing fancy. Uh, yeah, potsandpans.com. Thank you for that $10 super chat, Charlie. I, I seriously appreciate it. And yeah, I, I do want to tell that story a little bit better. I told it around the campfire at Downeyville, and uh, it's, it is interesting because this whole journey is basically centers around me deciding to like, like work on myself. When you work on yourself more than your job, you are going to get ahead. When you, when you work on your faults and try to figure out what the hell's wrong with me, you, know, you do that kind of stuff in the best kind of way. You go to the gym, you do something physical, you, you kind of realize, why am I getting mad all the time? Like, what's the deal here? You start reading some books. Like, that's, that's where the journey truly begins. All right. Cash Panda going again. If you ran a downhill bike, would you use Eagle <laughs> for Enduro like Gary? Now that's, oh man, now we're getting into the weeds for sure. Yes, if I was going to build a downhill bike, I would put Eagle on it. And I'd put GX Eagle on it because it's cheap. <laughs> Relatively cheap. Carry more speed. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I would definitely be able to be a little bit more confident. Okay, these aren't going to be perfect right now. Like I said, I'm just roughing it in. Hey, Charlie, I appreciate that you appreciate that I'm honest because I, I feel like I'm letting you down when I answer that question. But that's, you know, that's... That's what I'm here to be. I'm not here to talk about head tube angles unless I was like, wow, this is a game changer. This, I can feel it. So it's all about just being honest and, and showing that it eh, feels good to me. Yeah, I get money from hand up gloves every time I sell one of these. That's, that's why I do the jersey. That's why I do the gloves. That's why I do shirts because I get a little chunk every time I sell one and that makes this channel work. Like it's, it's awesome that you guys dig it and want to be a part of it. And YouTube ad money is okay, but I'm building a business all around YouTube ad money that's just like YouTube ad money is one part, but all this other stuff 
just goes right into it. So it's awesome. Thanks for sharing that link. These gloves are not padded. I wear them all the time. I've worn, I have like a hundred pair of hand up gloves now. I could basically uh, uh, do a soundproof barrier with uh, my hand up gloves. MTB dropping, Tony's checking in. What do you think looks better, the DVO or the RockShox? You know, I have to say the RockShox. I like the look of the RockShox better than the DVO. I, I never quite dug the brown. A lot of people dug the brown though. It's just not my, not my taste. Okay, so. Dropper, lever, we'll get it on the left side, but I think we'll need to do brakes and other and other such stuff first. Both brakes, let's see. Da, da, da. This brake is routed. It's here somewhere, it's hiding off. <laughs> this, is, this is gonna be a long night. I have way too much fun with you guys. What's up, Alex Chamberlain? Alex Chamberlain is in the... Uh, at, in BC right now. Otherwise, he would be driving over to my house right now to actually help me uh, build this bike because the cringe factor that he is probably going to go through by watching this is uh, off the charts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the gold head uh, head tube or head badge is really nice. The gloss of this is freaking awesome. All right, Ruel Photo, you have won the uh, the prize to, ask, to be the first about the DVO suspension. Uh, congratulations. Ten other people probably already asked about it, but I missed it if they did. I'm not sure how much the bike costs, but if you go to Ibis... Uh, Ibis, Google Ibis Mojo HD4, and then this build is the GX build with the carbon wheels. So I'm guessing it's 7,000 bucks or so, maybe more. Yeah, you're right. Who needs brakes? <laughs> Thanks, Ollie. I appreciate that. I'll put my shifter on this side, I think. I'm going to have to do it. Oh, yeah. this You guys are going to see some true befuddlement here tonight. I hope you're ready. I hope you're ready. This is Shimano, so it's a whole, this is the, this thing, and this is that thing, okay, back brake, inboard or outboard as Seth was talking about, probably should leave this tape attached, who knows, I did not buy this bike, this is sent to me by Ibis to test out for a couple weeks, which is friggin' amazing, it's a, it's a huge milestone in my channel to know that you guys are now a part of this, and you guys are into it enough that uh, companies are taking note. Tell us about Wi-Fi sprinkler controllers. <laughs> Hi, Mae Magana. Or Jamie. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of great Wi-Fi smart sprinkler controllers out there. Ratchio is a pretty good one. If you Google Ratchio Review, R-A-C-H-I-O, you'll probably find it. My other Wi-Fi... My other... YouTube channel, which I haven't touched in a year, is called the Wi-Fi Garden. Go have fun if you've got a lawn and you need a, uh, you need some fixing on it. Oh yeah, we'll go left side with the uh, dropper bows. This puny shock. Yeah, that is kind of puny, huh? It's just uh, it's the geometry, not the not the travel the shock. As I, as I, so it, it might even be deflated. Who knows? We'll we'll get there when we get there. Where do I live? My address is one two three Main Street. So I've got wolf tooth fat paws, but I don't have hairspray. So I feel like it would be a travesty to try to put these on without hairspray, as you guys have suggested about the, the hairspray. All right. <laughs> Wi-Fi smart sprinkler controllers are the dankest meme. That's, uh, it's basically just, uh, very much the dankest meme. I see Seth is checked in, but I didn't see what he said. <laughs> soapy water. Ah, you're right about the soapy water. We could do soapy water. That'll be, like, that'll be hour 10. When we get into hour 10, that's, uh, that's what we'll do. Son of a gun, this doesn't open big enough for me to just put it on. Are you kidding me, Shimano? I gotta take these lock-ons off. 
Spencer Caroli. Love your videos, man. Are you replacing your Bronson? No, nope, I'm not replacing my Bronson with this. This is just a demo bike for a few weeks. I'm gonna take it to Switzerland. It's gonna be badass. I am going to make it out to San Diego to ride Noble Canyon. There's a there's a million people that want to get me out there. And I uh, know oh it says push to open. Er. There's a lot of people that uh, want want me to get out there. So we're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna get out there. I'm gonna get out to Noble Canyon. We'll see if I need to take the uh, the grips off, so hey, You know, in the video, I keep calling you Soheb, and I seriously apologize, Soheb. Like, uh, it's kind of stupid. I'm, I'm pretty good about pronouncing names, but I, I do apologize about that. Yeah, I'd like to ride the old Santa Cruz Hightower LT. It sounds like a sweet little bike. All right, I need to get this, uh, I need to get these bolts back in before these other bolts uh, confuse me. I have not demoed the Nomad 4 about it. You would have seen a photo on my Instagram. You would have, uh, yes, you would have seen a photo if I would have demoed something. The shock is tiny. We're gonna we're gonna figure that out. Ah, oh, the zip ties. You're right. Okay, okay. You're right. We're gonna we're gonna do the grips. It's just gonna it's gonna be like the last thing though. Uh, but yes, we'll use the zip ties to do the grips. That was my original live stream. Was uh, a million people shouting zip ties at me, and it was a glorious thing, wasn't it? You're gonna make an Instagram just to follow me. That's pretty freaking cool. You should. Jesus, these are all tight. Yeah, I know you can do it with the air compressor. My air compressor doesn't work at the, mo oh, the moment. Just a demo bike. Ibis is uh, stepping up, and they're being pretty cool to let me take this out. I'm riding it first in Switzerland, so I... The ring, Grant. It's uh, it's been good. I kind of like it. I like the, the sleep tracking. I like the heart. It's not a real time heart rate monitor, but it does track kind of my activity. It tracks my sleep. So I've dug it so far. It hasn't gotten in the way at all. So so far so good. And it does like remind you to stretch your legs if you haven't moved in a while and that kind of stuff. So it's interesting. I'm gonna be very curious to see how much sleep I get on the flight t tomorrow night. It's going to be like no, no sleep at all. Yeah, that makes sense. The shock probably just needs air. It's, it's probably empty. Inside, outside, left side, right side. All these great choices. Oh, it doesn't even stretch. <laughs> What's my Instagram? <laughs> It's www.google.com slash query BKXC Instagram. Or maybe it's even in the description right now. Alex Chamberlain, my biggest fan. Even though I'm a, a really shitty mechanic, I, I just don't believe it. BK Nuggets. <laughs> I'm gonna use every single friggin' every single bolt in the old china cabinet. Yes, Nate, I've definitely thought of doing the BC bike race. It's pretty intense. I like the the Trans BC that uh, that Alex Chamberlain is doing. Maybe he's not doing it already still, but uh, that just the enduro stuff appeals to me way more than uh, the bike race where you're doing XC races like every day. Goodbye. This is here. Looks good. Yeah, I raced at Sea Otter uh, years ago in Category 3. Got my ass handed to me. 
it is tubeless right now. I, I've shooken it and I can hear the sweet, sweet sealant. So we're good to go. Hey, that's really cool to hear, Ollie. Okay. I haven't, yeah, uh, DRA brakes. Son of a gun. <laughs> Every single thing I pick is uh, is wrong. Ooh, I can smell that that sweet grease. I'm really good at this, guys. I'm really good at this. Hey, Joyce, haven't biked for a bit. Too hot and humid in Kansas City. Yeah, I believe that. I remember, uh, I've read some stuff about Kansas City being oppressive in the heat, for sure. Phil, you're wrong. There's all kinds of air in the shock. It's a two millimeter travel bike. It's a whole different, it's a whole different prototype. <laughs> Come on, baby. You got it. This might not be the right bolt. <laughs> Flat out, flats out. I might still be here when you wake up in the morning. It's very much possible. I thought this was a. Uh, I thought we were gonna uh, get on a little faster here, but it ain't gonna happen. Kidding me? Kidding me with this bolt? I just took this bolt out. What happened to DVO? Oh, there we go. She got it. She got him. <laughs> Thomas Anderson had a nice little run in today. Sounds uplifting. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to uh, demo a common cell. I don't know if they'd send me one. Yeah, they might send me one. This is all very uh, happenstance right here. This is kind of a almost a waste of time to to be playing with this right now when I don't have it really lined up. <laughs> yeah, carbon wheels on this, Caleb. Yeah, it is kind of weird. Like, uh, oh, that looks like a hole. It's not a hole. It was actually a bolt there. Okay, so that's good enough for me for now. Uh, okay, front brake. This is this is gonna be not too crazy. We'll see. I think GF GX Eagle is the new hero of drivetrains. I think that they're gonna sell out of it, and everyone's gonna be kind of mad. It's a KS Lev dropper. Should have been wearing my gloves. gloves on. <laughs> okay, we got this going now. Put it inside, put it outside, put it in further. So many choices, so many decisions. I'm not qualified to do this. What front fork? It's a uh, Fox 36. A 
aluminum bars. I did. I chose this bike over the SB6 because I said, hey, Ivis, do you want to send me a bike and that I can test out for a couple weeks? And they said, yep. This is very much in the way, so I have to reroute, do a little more vertical like this, I think. I haven't uh, visited the Santa Cruz factory yet. I'd like to, though. I'd like to check it out. There we go. That's looking a little bit better now. Yes, it's carbon. It is carbon. got an instruction manual here. BR, 15 bucks? Thank you. Seriously, thank you. It's, it's a damn fine thing. I appreciate it. You leave a lot of comments. I, I, I know the, the minion avatar. Got a couple extra derailer hangers. It's a free sticker. Hey, hey. I don't know if I'm allowed to keep that or not. <laughs> I think you guys need to type in bigger all caps, then I'll actually see it. I'm just kidding. Hello from Poland. Brakes. That's the brake spacer bracket thingamajig. Sean D, 16 bucks. Thanks, man. That's very, very cool. I appreciate that. New Jersey. I'd like to get out to New Jersey. I, I, I would like to get out to New Jersey. Probably next year. My plan for next year is to do kind of a northern tour. So, it'd be sweet. Sean D, what, uh, what is that avatar? I'm trying to see here. Is it another? Oh, it's a Jesus. It's a Jesus avatar. <laughs> oh. Got the bracket on, but you gotta put the brakes on as well. And then you gotta put on the brakes the proper way. They just, they just don't go on any way. I'm figuring this stuff out here. And it probably goes on like this. Oh man, I'm gonna embarrass myself here with not knowing how to put the uh, the brake bracket on properly. It's okay, folks. I can play the fool. Hey, it has up on it. How's that, huh? How's that for mechanicing? It should be named Silver Surfer. I like that, Colin. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I never really got into the Silver Surfer comics. More of a Wolverine guy myself, for sure. But I have not seen the new Logan movie, and I've heard it's pretty damn good. But uh, I got YouTube videos to make. I ain't got time for that. This is uh, hard to hold on to. Jesus. Made out of glue. Or the opposite of glue. <laughs> oh, shit. Wonder Woman. Yeah, Wonder Woman movie was pretty good. I did see that. <laughs> Run the cable on the inside. What do you what do you what do you what do you think? Should I look at my old old bike? My other bike. Run it up through here and then yeah, so okay. I'll run the cable on the inside. That that, that sounds good. 
That sounds good, you guys. You guys are saving my ass once again. King Rat, no, this is not a new bike. This, well, it is a new bike. It's a brand new bike. It's Ibis Mojo HD4, and Ibis was kind enough to send me this so I can go play with it in Switzerland and go have an adventure and just have fun. I think that is the best thing any bike company can do is send me a bike and I'll go have a friggin' awesome adventure on it and uh, they'll get their they'll get their money's worth out of me having fun on it for sure. Have I ever been to Marin? Asked for the four hundredth time. Yes, I have. What's up, Frank Fator? Technical difficulties is asking me to run flats. Man, I, you guys are funny about uh, the flats. I'm, I'm, I honestly have no problem with the clips. Like I can constantly, easily clip in and clip out of my my pedals. Like I have no problem whatsoever getting in and getting out. So I don't know. Maybe you guys have a harder problem than I do uh, with the clips. Between the fork legs. Okay, okay, here we go. Got to got to you got you guys are good at uh <laughs> you guys are good at uh No, no, it's got to be on the outside, huh? Yeah, okay. What do we say? What do we say? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I I got it. <laughs> Nate Hills runs clips. The Trail Peak guys run clips. Does Alex Chamberlain run clips? There's a few guys that I've ridden with that are badasses that run clips and they never say anything about flats. I think it's just YouTube commenters that like flats. <laughs> we're going in, we're going in. I think Ryan Boardman runs flats though. Windows 10 privacy settings. Ah. <laughs> Richie Rude runs clips. Uh, you guys are you guys are saying Sam Hill? That's the one guy. <laughs> but that doesn't mean I won't try flats someday. You know, it's I don't mind it. I just don't think it's all it's cracked up to be. Got every single spacer going in here. Danny McCaskill runs flats. This is like virgin fork right here. It's a work. This is not an easy way to sit right here. <laughs> Hola from Peru. <laughs> Enough about the flats. <laughs> and the computer just rebooted. It's going into overdrive. a little bit faster not reading the comments but it's too much fun that's why I do this to have fun with you guys birds are going ape shit out there bedtime for these birds <laughs> Most skateboarders run flats. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> All right, Chris. Good night, buddy. Jaime, thank you for saying that. Thank you for that five bucks. How can we be like you? How do you make full-time videos? So 
I've got a, bl a blog on my website, bkxc.bike. The key to doing this is to somehow hold people's attention. If you can hold people's attention, if you can be interesting, that's all this is. That's, that's, that's all that matters. If people pay attention, that works, right? So it's not like I'm a hot chick that does weightlifting and has bikini pictures. That's one way to hold people's attention. If you're the smartest guy in the world, you can write books. That, that's a way to hold people's attention. But for me, it's goofing around, being a goofball, and basically being a normal guy, right? Having a story that I was a normal guy, I quit my job to do this, and I believed in it, and I believed in you guys to make it possible. So it's, it's complicated. If you wanna be a YouTuber, you gotta make YouTube videos, and then keep iterating. If you wanna be a director, you gotta direct. Actually, my video tomorrow kinda goes into that. Computer has died. I can't have it. I can't have it doing this. I need to be able to see. I need to be able to see what's going on. This is awful. Come on. All right, turn it off. Turn it back on. The age-old computer fix. All right, while we're doing that, we'll ask some, we'll answer some questions, get some friggin' water in my system. Where's the ice water? There it is. Northern Utah, man. Yeah, definitely. I'd love to go to, to Northern Utah. What shock am I using? This is the Ibis Mojo HD4. Ibis sent me this bike to test out. And I'm gonna test it out. I'm gonna take it to Switzerland, man. It's gonna be pretty damn fun. It's a 27.5 enduro bike. Yeah, it's pretty cool, coach. It's, uh, it's definitely like a huge milestone that uh, Ibis was willing to step up and send me this bike for me to test out. Brand new bike, just, it's it's awesome. So we're going all night. Sweet, I see the thumbnail is actually decent. I dig it. Yeah, I'd love for Giant to send me a bike to test out. That'd be awesome. Here we go. All right, we're getting there. Here we, yeah, I know, Kieran, I know. I need to get to Angel Fire. New Mexico is on my list. The idea, hopefully, is after I do the uh, St. George Chasing Epic trip in Moab, that maybe I'll shoot down to, to uh, New Mexico. So that, that could work. We shall see if that'll work or not, but I'll give it a try. Yeah, it's the GX build with the uh, carbon wheels. So if you go to Ibis, ibis.com or ibis cycles or you know whatever the website is if you look up the gx build and the carbon wheels you'll see every single spec on this you know i'm not one to know my stuff all right we got a little uh little cap here to actually wrap the brake properly bet you're surprised you know kent i am into football like uh you know american football as in fantasy football I do a, a fantasy football league every year, and this year I'm going to dominate once again. I've lost the championship game in my fantasy football league three years in a row, but uh, I did a lot of trading for a lot of draft picks, so this year I'm gonna dominate. You guys watching, your number's up. Even though I, <laughs> I spend 18 hours a day doing this, I'm gonna carve out 30 minutes a week to be able to do my fantasy football. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm fucked, for sure. Chris Lutz, Nuggets for Life. I had 20 nuggets. If you're watching my Instagram stories, you saw 20 nuggets today. I was so busy editing today, I had to just friggin' run and gun and get the nuggets in my system. 
Ibis carbon wheels. These are the 742s. Asymmetrical, wide as a mofo. They look like plus tires. 2.6s. Okay, well, maybe they... <laughs> that's, that's as close as you can get, I'd say. Oh, that's going to be fun. That is going to be fun. Let's get a little more wrapping off this mofo. Whoa. <laughs> Thanks, Dirtwire TV. <laughs> I had to read that whole thing. Man, uh, the green highlights. This is like a Seattle Seahawks bike right here. Seahawks, boo Seahawks. <laughs> bring up us, bring up some sports teams and uh, get some uh, mixed reactions, huh? I dig it. Oh, don't go to sleep. All right, maybe I'll actually be able to get into settings now that I rebooted my computer. It's a Windows machine. I have a Windows machine in this room, and uh, come on, this Windows junk. All right, we're gonna go into displays. We're gonna. Updates and secure. Who knows where the hell this is? Oh, that's some. Those are some fighting words with the. Uh... Hey, that emoji is pretty dang good. What the heck? How's that such a beautiful? Oh, maybe uh, that was weird. Miago, music like that. That looks like an amazing emoji that you just used. Maybe it's a. Uh... I don't know. I'm confused. It really uh, threw me for a loop there. Sorry. All right. Um, I'm looking for my settings so I can actually. Yeah, I actually did talk, talk to Chuck Ibis. He is a nice guy. He was in my video uh, in Sea Otter, and uh, he made this happen. So it's it's pretty quite ridiculous. It's an awesome, just an awesome step. There we go. When plugged in, do not sleep the computer. Never sleep. That's what we're, what's going to happen. Uh, that's uh, it's going to be. Uh, very much no sleep tonight. All right, so we're not sleeping in here. <laughs> Thank you, Casey. I'm glad you believe in my computer skills. I made a living off my computer skills at some point. <laughs> Elevation, Colorado question mark. Yes, I've seen you post it 700 times. Sure, Colorado, yes. The answer to any question of a place that I want to go is yes. If it's good, I want to go there. But yeah, no plans. Oh, I just spilled the water. Thanks, Cole. I appreciate that, bud. Ice cream trucker. No, I, I've watched Linus Tech Tips a couple times. Just a couple times. I'm uh, not like a big... Uh, I, don't, I don't watch a lot of YouTube now, right? Like I, I can barely keep up with uh, anything that's going on now. And it kind of... Kind of makes me sad, but it kind of doesn't, right? It means that, like, this stuff is like really legitimately going crazy. So, uh, it's it's a good thing. This is not replacing the Bronson. This is just a, a demo bike that I just said I could go take to Switzerland. So, tomorrow I'm getting on a plane to Switzerland, and it's going to be awesome. DHF minions front and back. Two point sixes in the rear. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. GX Eagle build with the carbon wheels. Grant, yes, I do think people stress the gear too much. So it's it's something I try to talk about on my channel. Obviously, I'm just as obsessed with the gear as everyone else. I want the newest and greatest things like everyone else, right? Like, but you can't let that mental masturbation stop you. Like, my brother has this 26-inch Pivot Mach 5.7. It's a sweet-ass bike. It's great. It actually runs great. Just go out and ride. Like, that's what it's all about. So, it's so easy just to be like, well, my bike's not that great. To blame it on your bike or to blame it on, oh, the carbon wheels are too light. You know, it's just, just get out there and ride. But, it, it's easy to get obsessed. So, I try to, I get obsessed. I love that stuff. But I don't, I just don't go so deep. 
I try not to go so deep with like everything, the geometry and all that stuff. It's the rider, not the bike. You're right about that, Alex Chamberlain. Phil went to bed, but when I rode with Phil, that trek he had was a beat up piece of shit. It had cracks in it. It was all sorts of fucked up. And Phil beat the shit out of me on that ride. He was a monster. So that's the end of like any kind of bike thing, right? There's no way in hell that Joe Rogan mentioned me on his last podcast. There's, there's no way. There's no, it's impossible. But I will investigate that. <laughs> If someone can find it, uh, Joe Rogan has, uh, he has all his stuff uh, on YouTube, so you can find the exact timing if it did happen, but there, come on, there's no way. It only takes a bike to be a biker, so go out and be one, damn it. <laughs> I don't even know why he put that in the chat, but uh, I appreciate it, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Ooh, so the cable's already routed for me on this. We might <laughs> live free, ride hard, get stoked, baby. Oh, there we go. We might have lucked out with the uh, this with this setup here. We being my weak ass. Still too big. This is a large, uh, the Ibis and the Santa Cruz are both a little smaller. So they like, they say, uh, da -da, they say, ba -ba -ba. I don't know what they say. Sorry, I just saw Cameron came into the chat with a question mark and I recognize him because he makes so many uh, comments. So uh, yeah, Ibis sent me a bike. Ibis sent me the Mojo HD4 to take to Switzerland and to ride. Michelle is asking how old I am. What, what, what's, what's that all about? What's it to you? 35 years old. <laughs> Thanks, Cameron. Anthony Williams just got back into mountain biking, found your videos, really love them, watch you all the time. Now I'm looking to buy a new bike, but I have no idea where to start. So here's my bike advice. You, you guys know I'm horrible about bike advice, right? I'm just friggin' all about expensive carbon fiber bikes. Go to a bike shop, ask them, just give them, give them, give them what you need. Give them, uh, give them, you know, give them your specs, give them your dollar amount. If you go with Trek or Specialized or Giant, those are the big ones, you'll do, you'll do good. But yeah, go to a bike shop, talk to them, go to a couple bike shops, just feel them out, right? Like you could go crazy and buy a $7,000 bike and you'll be good to go. But you kind of want to, uh, you, you want to, you want to figure your own stuff out. The price range is so much, there's so much shit. Like I, I focus, I narrow my focus. Hey, Michelle, if, if Yeti wants to send me a bike, they can send me a bike. I'm open to that for sure. So hopefully that answered your question, uh, Michael, it's, or Anthony, but uh, it's complicated is the answer, right? I would say if you're actually back, if you're back into mountain biking and you're into it and you know you're addicted, then go with the, the full suspension and spend some money. If you are on the fence, if you don't know, if you're just like, eh, go with the hardtail. Save the money because you just don't want to blow all that money if you're not going to use it. But bikes can be sold uh, pretty easily for a good price if you don't put a lot of damage on them. Is it just me or am I having a hard time threading every single bolt? Ben asks if wider wheel sets give more grip. Yes, they do. The wider the wheel, the better the grip. It, it, it kind of, uh, Ibis actually has a whole like video on their website about why wider wheels are better. So wider tires, more grip, you're, you're on it for sure. HD4 GX build, 4800. Cool. Thank you for that. Uh, is that the carbon as well? It probably is. <laughs> this chat definitely prevents me from getting a bike built, Steve, but <laughs> it's all part of it. I love it. What's up, Eli? How you doing, buddy? Hayden, do wider wheels slow you down? I bet they do. I bet the, I bet the wider wheels do slow you down, but you get that, that grip. Yeah, Steve, you're, you're right with the, the, uh, the wheels. The wheels add another 2,000 or 12. Oh, actually, these wheels are moderately priced at like 12.99, so... 
everything's relative, right? MV wheels are twenty four hundred, so if it's twelve ninety nine, that's almost half off. Cameron, thank you for that five dollar super chat. He's looking forward to the new trip and the new bike. Can't wait for more vids. Yeah, I got a lot of videos from uh, Downeyville and uh, Tahoe that are going to be in the pipe, and hopefully, I'll be able to get the Switzerland vids out while I'm out there. But we'll see. Switzerland's going to be pretty good. The hubs are alive, my friends. Oh shoot, am I loosening or am I tightening? <laughs> Okay. Oh, these are Bond Bondhus tools. Bondhus. Made in the USA. Pretty good, nice. Uh, reasonably priced on Amazon.com. I dig them. Christopher Brown. Five Australian dollar dues. Nice rig, mate. Ibis are awesome. Just wondering, mate, is the race prep series still going? I'll be racing nationals and need to get in shape. Man, I, that's, that's definitely one of the things I'm most disappointed about is the the category two cross country race. It's, I'm gonna do a race. The uh, Rock Hopper Festival, it's gonna be the Rock Hopper Classic and the Rock Hopper Enduro in Rockville, Cal Fairfield, California. Uh, at the end of September, I will be there. I'll be racing. I, I don't know, I don't think I can do sport category cross country and then pro category Enduro. So <laughs> I, I basically forced myself to do pro Enduro just cause. But, uh, so I might be in the pro XC category, which means I will be uh, finishing it with a goose egg, but we're going to do it. So whatever. What hubs are these? You're going to have to look it up. I think they're uh, Ibis brand logo hubs. If you just Google Ibis HD4, uh, what do we say? GX, GX Eagle Beal. Thank you for that super chat, Chris. It's definitely a thing of me getting into shape and me getting into riding shape. It... I don't know. I'm going to have to time my travel stuff better, but I love traveling so much. I love taking you guys to all these friggin' trips, right? So that's, that is what it is. So the, the whole cross country fitness thing is, is pretty much falling by the way. I haven't been to the friggin' gym in like two months. I don't even know how I still have what I have. It's, it's going fast. My body just eats itself alive. All right. So let's see what we got with the shifter here. Wait, we are shifting. We do have this. That's good. So there's no tension on this. So that's why if you're moving in. So let's get the yeah, let's get the chain on. What, what are y'all thinking? Get the chain on. How does Super Chat work? If you're on an iOS device, I don't think Super Chat works. This is a whole Eagle GX uh, group set. I haven't ridden the Nomad yet. It looks badass, Cameron, but I haven't ridden it yet. And I bet it is badass. So it's bigger than the Bronson, right? More, more power than the Bronson? That's what it's all about. Oh, okay. I didn't know that uh, Super Chat works on the iPhone, Brian. Thank you. Clinton's getting back into MTB after being a couch potato for 15 years. Good on you, man. That's what I friggin' love to hear. That is what drives this channel. I get comments and emails every friggin' day. Oh, I'm down 30 pounds. Now I can ride with my son. Oh, I'm down 15 pounds. Holy shit, you guys. It's fucking awesome. Side pour. <laughs> See, here's the deal. I've got this big fucking nose and it gets in the way. So out of necessity, I go with the side pour. Steve caught that. <laughs> We're having fun tonight. Who needs sleep? It's only 9.17. We've only been at it for uh, two hours. Let's see, let me check the clock. An hour and 69 minutes. Uh. <laughs> it is really a beautiful thing, people getting into shape. Like honestly, that's why this is so amazing for, for me to inspire people to get out of mountain biking because basically, Mountain biking is the best way to get fit, it's the best way to have fun, and it's the best way to see the world. So there is nothing better than mountain biking. I believe it wholeheartedly. So the only thing I worry about is that you guys only watch the videos because I'm so fucking funny. 
So uh, I don't think there's any risk of that. So, <laughs> so I hope that you guys get out there and uh, get on the bike and ride and go see the world. You can meet some amazing people. Uh -uh. Oh, 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 this is very sticky icky. So there's, <laughs> thanks Jason, I appreciate that. Michelle, I have not battled any overuse injuries except for my butt. I got a little butt sore uh, at Downeyville because my chamois was pretty uh, blown out. But uh, I'm just not that extreme. Like people, I think uh, it's a lot easier to think that I ride a lot more than I actually do, so. Oh no, I actually have to measure this chain. I actually have to figure this out, so here we go. Degrease the chain first. I've, I've heard people say that, that, uh, that <laughs> Thomas Fisk. <laughs> hey, shout out Thomas Fisk. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I've heard people say, keep the juice, uh, like degrease the juice, like all that stuff. Hey, the river water. I survived, Steve. I didn't, I, I didn't have any ill effects from the, uh, See, yeah, we got, we got, uh, we got decrease the chain. We got grease the chain. I wish, uh, YouTube had, uh, poles. I wish I could throw a pole in there. So <sighs> the best bike to buy is the Yeti SV6 X01 build. Always degrease. Then <laughs> you freaking guys, all your, some, why do they come like this then? Why, why? Hey, get better, Joshua. That sucks that you're sick, but you'll get there. I'm glad to uh, to get you guys through this for sure. Like I, I know a lot of people uh, get uh, get down and get injured and all that stuff, and uh, it's 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 powerful to kind of to get there. So it's so it doesn't rust during transport. <laughs> Do you guys love how much of a dumbass I am? Just get another chain. <laughs> Just throw this one away. <laughs> All right, Jay, I got the Mojo HD4 because I emailed Ibis and they were like, yeah, we'd love to send you a bike to test. This is just a test bike. I'm gonna ride it for a couple uh, weeks. I'm gonna send it back. So anybody with a bike that is carbon fiber, full suspension, enduro, that caveat, uh, I'll ride it. That's that's my deal, right? I'll ride RockShox, I'll ride DBO, I'll ride Xfusion, I think. I'll ride, you know, whatever. That's what it's all about strawpole.com but now i've got a uh, greasy hand so i can't do the old uh <laughs> draw pole california cruising chimes in with uh two bucks mcdonald's grease works great on chains <laughs> hey patrick you got the amazon lara bars i got two amazon lara bar packs because my dad also saw the the amazon live deal tons of you guys emailed me about the the lara bar deal so very much yeah not replacing the bronson j yeah, Eddie, I have seen a bears while I'm riding a couple times. Uh, one in Whistler, I have a video. It stopped right in front of me on the trail. I've seen bears quite a few times. They're awesome. Do not be afraid of them, unless they're grizzly bears and they're attacking you. BKXC gloves. <laughs> they're right here. On the... <laughs> they're here. They're here, Ernest. All right, I'll be back in a second. I'm going to get some kind of degreaser or some kind of tub that I can use. Oh, PJ Echeverry saw a rattlesnake last week. Yeah, that's that's pretty friggin' uh, scary, actually. I'll be back. Don't squeeze my brake levers. So I've got my finish line degreasers, but how am I, I, I need like some kind of tub, right? I mean, to really soak this in. Hey, you're not gonna, you're not gonna pull the fork, monster. <laughs> Kai Grind, only 18 seconds behind you on a local downhill trail. Coming for me? Oh, nice. Uh, which one is it, Kai? Uh, say it real fast so I can actually see it. Chain is fine, don't degrease it. Oh, you guys are killing me. Ha 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 
Eli. <laughs> Shock. <laughs> no, this is it. That's the full travel right there. It's pretty crazy. It's a whole new thing. Uh, thanks for that five bucks, Kai. I, I appreciate it. Or Key. Key or Kai. Cruise Valley, Knoxville, Tennessee. Oh, okay, okay. On your local trail. That's cool, man. I'm glad that I have that Strava, uh, Strava stuff going. I, I forgot about it recently. There's a couple of things that uh, I didn't get it. Add air to shock. <laughs> I want to come to Austin, Pat. I definitely want to come to Austin. All right, so I'm doing this in the house. So I'm using finish line, these finish line absorb mats. So I've got one under here already, but I'm going to put down another one right now so I can just friggin' uh, <laughs> go to town. Ooh, this one is not big enough. i got to roll out the other one. Finish Line sent me these a while back. Thank you to those guys. Oh. Okay, we're moving over here, moving this stuff over here. This chain is so much more greasy than the uh, SRAM chain, it's kind of interesting. Checking in from the Taco Bell drive-in, Cameron's rocking that unlimited data, <laughs> which I need to get tomorrow before I go. That's like on my list. I need to go to Verizon, get the SIM card, and uh, go, because my new I, I got a new iPhone, but it's not activated yet. Life and times of a busy motherfucker. Nick V. <laughs> oh, hear that hub noise, Nick? It's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, buddy. Soak the chain in mineral spirits, Scott. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, you're right about the chain. If I put the chain, oh, you're so right. Thank you for saying that, ice cream trucker. You actually do work at a bike shop. I know that, or you're some some kind of a mechanic. It's not an i9 hub, but like to get the chain length, you actually kind of do have to deflate, inflate, all that shit. So, son of a gun, I'm actually gonna need help with that because I don't remember the exact uh, thing that I need to do. Good morning, the UK. So I should put air in the shock first to measure the chain, probably. <clears throat> oh, Got to scroll up, sorry. Da -da -da. Measure the chain on the smallest cog, but it's got to have, got to have a... Uh, Gotta have air on it first. I think so. Soak the chain in McDonald's nuggets grease. I think that's probably what it needs to be. Factory grease is the best. <laughs> Make it as long as possible. Yeah, but all right. Let's see. Uh, let's get like. Let's get 160 in this. This bad boy. Yeah. Frame size is a large. This is not, this is a new bike, but it's not mine. I'm going to just take it to Switzerland for a couple weeks, which starts tomorrow. No air when you measure the chain. <laughs> I should have friggin' looked that up. That is, that, that is one of the things that I, I should have actually uh, looked up. So I feel like a, a dumbass about that, so... All right, usually doing big cog in the back, and look how stretched out the derailleur is, because, yeah, of course, it's shock first. Air in the shock first. All right, yeah, let's, let's air it up. Sweet. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. I know <laughs> I need your, I actually do uh, use your help, and I need, I need to cycle the shock as well, so let's, uh, <clears throat> let's take her down. 
I got the original iPhone, Evan. The first one. Yeah, I did see that new Trek gimmick, uh, Shock. Might be cool. I didn't read enough about it to, uh, to know what's actually going on with it, though. I don't have any pets. I had a, a dog, I had a beagle when I was a kid, Sonny. He, uh, he ate. He was an eater. <laughs> Seth made a really funny joke recently about beagles and that, uh, and that basically they, be, a beagle's only job is to pretend like it is just starving to death. That it's just like completely like, oh, it's gonna die. If you don't feed me, I'm gonna die. Ooh, almost misplaced these quick links. Make sure these are on the table. Oh, wait, let me read this entire KS Lev uh, manual before we continue, though. The Beagle Brigade. <laughs> gonna try to get something to pry apart the uh, the brakes because they are pretty tight. Let's see if I can get it in here. Oh, she's going. She'll go. Give her. <laughs> yeah, El Paso. Pick me up. Uh, Pick me up some nuggets, bud. Hey, I'm putting it in the wrong way, probably. That, that happens. I'm distracted. There's plenty of grease on the axles. I'm feeling good about that. Alex, I have a bike bag. I have a whole video about how I pack my bike for uh, a, a, a trip. Tire size is quite ridiculous, actually. We've got uh, we've got 2.6s in the front and 2.5s in the rear. The lifetime nugget count. That's a uh, it's in the thousands, my friend. It's in the thousands. Oh. Going to South Africa in October, nice. Oh yeah, we got nothing in there. Adam, where do I plan for this business to be in five years? I plan on having a, a pretty big business in five years. And uh, I'm gonna do that probably through clothing. MTB Obsession, 10 bucks Aust from Australia dollar. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Thanks, man. I appreciate that very much. I like your logo. <laughs> I, I don't do any programming for fun, Cody. I, I literally have no time. This is, I have all the time in the world, and it's devoted to this. So there there's... Almost no time for anything else. I'll, uh, yeah, that's, this is it. This is it. And that's the only way I'd like it because that's how you build a business. You obsess and you kick ass and you eat shit for five or 10 years, maybe 20 years. And eventually you get there. But a actually I wouldn't have it any other way. This is the life of my dreams right now. So this is it. <laughs> Joe has had about 20 comments about Rocky Mountain Cycles. Thanks for the input, Joe. I appreciate it. I don't do CrossFit. I think it would be kind of cool, though. I don't need food. I ate before. It's, it's friggin... It's 9 o'clock. I ate, uh... Earlier. Oh. Jim's eating a Lara bar and watching a man pumping a bike. What a world we live in, right, Jim? <laughs> uh, what's up, Wind? Good to see ya. And 
<laughs> ben was going to create a, a channel about his initials, but then he realized they were my initials. Oh, the Bronson is just fine. This is just a bike that Ibis is going to let me ride for a couple weeks in Switzerland, and I am pretty jazzed about that. What is the longest time it's taken to build a bike? You're gonna find out tonight, my man. The Kootenays. I'd love to come to the Kootenays. I do have a, uh, a P.O. box, kind of, sort of, but uh, I, if you want to send me something, you need to email me first. And basically, most of you guys aren't going to be able to find my email for whatever reason. So I just don't need a bunch of stuff. Like, it, it's you can send me an email. I get tons of heartfelt emails. And if you do want to send me something, email me. Like, that's fine. But uh, it's it's uh, there's a lot of crap. I just I, It's a lot of stuff to sift through now. I just rode an Intense. Alex, Alexis, didn't you see my last video? It was badass. <laughs> There's no DVD, no shock on this debaser. I know you're kidding with me. I know you're... You... <laughs> I did the virtual knuckles, El Paso. You might have been asleep. Dude, Philip, East Asia. I would friggin' love to go to East Asia, but I'm gonna need a fixer. I'm gonna need someone to, like, kind of, uh... <laughs> Steve, why? Why the fuck? But, uh, I'm gonna, I would need someone to kind of take me, take me around. Hey, what's up, Adam? How you doing, buddy? I'm getting my shot soon to come to your uh, foreign land. But yeah, I, I don't want to, I could, you know, you can go to Asia by yourself and you can get around, but I'd rather have a local to help me out for sure. Hey, good night, Rob. Thanks for stopping by. If you want to be a bike, be one. You just need a bike to be one. Biker out. Yeah, Philippines, dude. Of course I want to go to the Philippines. Woo hoo hoo, feeling good. Starting to come together. Are you guys glad now? Are you guys happy? We, we're fully, we are fully, uh, I'm not gonna say it. All right, here we go. Best trail in the Bay Area. That if you, I bet if you search for best mountain biking in the Bay Area, my video will come up. Annadale, baby. I think that's a, a great all around thing. All right. <laughs> yes, you guys nailed it. You know what I've noticed in a lot of my videos? Like, my, my shirt always rides up on top of my butt. So whenever I walk away from the camera... <laughs> JLab3 came across my video from IFHT. That's cool. I'm glad uh, for you to uh, discover it. Nick, yes, I've ridden Mount Diablo. Uh, I remember it being super steep and just quite, uh, quite, quite tough. And then I think a lot of it's illegal. Yeah, man, I definitely want to go to Colorado. Colorado. Oh, trying not to pull out the power on this. Oh, trying not to knock over the degreaser. I've got a lot of people telling me to go to Mexico, but I don't have a lot of people showing me, like, do you actually have enduro races there? Do you actually have mountains there? Like, um, I want to go, but you got to do it. Dude, Philip, you got the monkey grips? Nice. Yeah, Steve, I'm heading out tomorrow. Switzerland. Hey, all you guys are heading to bed. Good night, guys. It's uh, I'll be here when you wake up. Don't worry. Central Wisconsin. I don't know. Don't you know? I'd love to go. If there's great trails. I'll be there. That's all there is to it. <laughs> I saw that ransom McNugget comment. So, a lot of enduro trails here in Mexico. All right. I'm willing to come. You guys got to uh, sell me on it, though. You got uh, to make sure that... Uh... Tap 
tax code. <laughs> I should come to the Bay Area in California. That probably would be a pretty cool place to shred. I've heard a lot about it. All right, so we got this on. We got this uh, decently sized. We're going with the chain. Now that I've put the chain on the ground a little bit, let's see if the greasy chain is picking up uh, stuff, which is going to hurt it. Oh, yeah, it's definitely... So now that it's actually getting dirty, we're going to... We're going to... Uh, we're gonna clean it. Yeah, I think the, uh, they want to clear out the the Ibis HD threes before they start selling the HD fours on competitive cyclists. But actually, just email competitive cyclists. Like you can just like uh, you can just oh low battery. Oh Jesus, why is the low battery? Don't do that to me. Why is why aren't you charging? We're still good. It's it's still charging. Yeah, it's like low battery alert came up. We're good. We're good. We'll see if this. I wonder if I, I guess I can't turn off my uh, screen. Hey, we're gonna do what we're gonna do. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever happens, happens. So I'm pointed here so I can. I'm going degreaser. You guys might not want me to, but we're going degreaser. Very well ventilated area. <laughs> All right, we got the degreaser going. <laughs> huffing it, just straight huffing the stuff. Not recommended. The window is open. Should have put the gloves on. Why the hell did I not put the gloves on? Yeah, I need to come back to Australia, John, for sure. Michelle, I I just I really love a steep climb and a steep descent. That's kind of kind of what I'm into. So if you saw my video uh, "Save the Best for Last" on Mount Frome, that's that's definitely that that is just so damn good. Yeah, wheels are a personal preference. I uh, I think it's definitely a thing where it's 27. 5, 27, 29. Jordan Boostmaster's running 26s, so, uh... <laughs> Scott, we get it, Australia. <laughs> People losing their minds about Australia. Watch out for the dog poops. No, no companies have approached me to ride their demos. I uh, I have sent hundreds and hundreds of emails to various different companies that I really dig. I'm like, hey man, how's it going? I'd love to uh, try your stuff. I'd love to do this. I'd love to do that. So SRAM was actually a company that reached out to me. So uh, that that was that was pretty cool. There are other companies that have reached out to me. Just off the top of my head, no no bike companies have reached out to me and said, hey, we'd love to get you riding on our bikes and 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 uh, show you show you show you or have you show off how great they are patrick heading to bed good night man gonna get some patreon cuts in before bed you might be up for a few more hours <laughs> yeah the bent, the bike will get sent back to ibis once it's done I'll probably just drive it down there, actually, because uh, shipping's expensive. <laughs> and they're only a couple hours away. Next bike after the Bronson. Have you guys watched my channel? I feel like I've said, uh, I've said this like many many times the sb6 that's like kind of my my favorite bike of the day right now jesus that chain is 
touching that right there. What's up with that? Okay. Just when it, when it has really awesome tension, it's uh, not as bad. It is in the big ring. Oh, you mean the the big big ring? See, that's why it's so confusing with the all the different rings, right? So I always say this is the big gear, like the fastest gear. But you're right, you're right. It needs to be. And actually, this doesn't matter. The derailleur doesn't matter right now. That's that can be get out of the way. But this is what matters. This is what matters. Getting this. Well, I guess the derailleur does need to be. It needs to be lined up at least. All right, we're getting through this. We got a $5 trooper chat from Drew. Thank you, man. I will make it out to, uh, oh! <laughs> I will make it out to Salt Lake City. I will. How we doing here? All right, so. Good here. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Nick's finally gonna get a, a, a live stream because he's on paternity leave. Nice, man. Welcome aboard. I'm sure there's plenty uh, there's plenty more live stream left. <laughs> Thank you, Sprocket. I appreciate that I inspire you. I hear that. Every time I hear that, I friggin' love it. Take out two links and put it back together. Thank you, Ice Cream Trucker. With great power comes great responsibility. Don't fuck this up. You are now a moderator. I trust you. Pro level, sponsor, pro level sponsor means they sponsor me for $100 a month on Patreon, which is fucking ridiculous, and it's awesome. And uh, they believe in this. They believe in this stuff, so it's, it's amazing. <laughs> it's not Ice Cream Trucker's fault. I don't know what the fuck happened. Who knows? Who knows? Who cares? Low low power. Okay, we we are low power, but I think we're still we're still getting some solid uh, power here. So I'm not too worried about it. I need to check. I, you guys will let me know in the chat. So I'm I'm happy about that. You know what? Maybe I'm gonna go get my other uh, my other power strip. Maybe it'll charge it up faster. bringing this, I brought this all over the world now because I have uh, multiple adapters and it has USB charging, it has this. This is what keeps me powered up when I'm out making videos all over the world. Let's go USB charger, let's go. Greetings from Chile, Enduro Masivo. The uh, Nice, Navy SEALs going to Moab. That's friggin' sweet, dude. The, the fumes from the degreaser are still, uh, they're still in here. <laughs> hey, I want to go to Japan, man. I definitely want to go to Japan. Invite me. The only way I could ride Crockett Hills tomorrow is if at sunrise, and even that is a horrible idea, but I do want to ride Crockett Hills very soon when I get back because I want to see that supposedly they fixed it and uh god I love that place man Crockett Hills is is very much one of my favorite spots I just haven't been there in a, such a long time good night Nathan go to Ch Tamarancho I'd say China Camp is cool too though what do I carry on a ride? I, I made a whole video about everything I, I carry on a ride. So we're taking two, oh God, the fumes. <laughs> Just, uh, 
The old degreaser. Yeah, I think Tam Tamarancho is worth uh, worth trying for sure. But yeah, Anadel is pretty uh, awesome. The window's open. The window's open. All right, so we got to take off two links, and then we got to make sure that. Hello from Truckee. What's up, Chris? Degreaser fumes. <laughs> nice green nine two, oh two nine. Like the jersey, it it amazes me to see that people are wearing my jersey. It just it just really cements how friggin' awesome this is, and that somehow I'm making an impact on people. That is quite amazing to think that I was like in my cubicle last year working a job I was making my videos but I was still not fully fully out there Citron 417 all right so chain breaker tool I have a better chain breaker tool. Just haven't, I don't know where it is. Okay, I need a four. Yeah, <laughs> that was a, that was a good, oh, there goes the chain. Come on guys, you guys gotta, gotta alert me. Yeah, set up the trip to Japan, <laughs> email me. You can't buy the BKXC jersey anymore. And Peter, I should not have answered you. You're, you're spam that, that is not good. We don't, we don't encourage spamming. I don't encourage people saying, hey, shout me out. I encourage normal conversation. I encourage a lively, normal conversation. You, you guys ever see how shitty all the comments are on other YouTube channels? And like how I really, I really, really want the comments on my YouTube channel to be good. And like they are, so it's awesome. We, we, we don't spam, we don't say, oh, legend has it. If you, if you post early, Brian will respond. Shove it up your ass. All right, we're gonna get this chain back on. My gloves are hand up gloves. If you, uh, the link in the description right now that you're uh, watching answers a lot of, a lot of the questions, right? So, uh, so what am I wearing? I put my hand up gloves in there. You can find that link in there. This is my new bike for the next couple weeks. It's the Ibis Mojo HD4. Man, this green, seriously, this green is pretty badass. Ibis was willing to send me this bike to play with in Switzerland and I'm so grateful for that. Jesus Christ. Hey, Ma, I'm working on the chain. Oh, darn it. <laughs> the Bronson's in the garage. Tied him up in knots. Peanut butter and jealous. <laughs> Okay, so we got the breaker. I've got the chain breaker down here. But when I went in, I was here. You know what, Ice Cream Trucker? You, uh, you're earning that mod status tonight. Just take off the friggin' links before you put the chain on. A man of genius. A man of talent. Toge, this is, uh, it's not a sponsored bike. I just asked Ibis if they would send me a bike for a couple weeks to take to Switzerland, and they said yes, they would. So I'm going to send it back. And uh, it's pretty sweet, man. This is kind of the dream, is to just always be riding a new bike and always be testing out different bikes and being like, oh man, I really like this, I really like that. Or, you know, just like proving that I could ride a million different bu bikes and have like a lot of fun on all of them, right? Yeah, the Shockwiz, I, I gotta put the Shockwiz back on. I, I'm working on sizing the chain, Steve. <laughs> I'm getting two links out. <laughs> I 
You're right about that, Sean. It's it's all because of my man meat. Woo! That took a lot of work. I'm not going out for chicken nuggets later. I already ate. Snow Summit. I'd love to go to Snow Summit. Give me some info on Snow Summit. Well, not right now. Just email me. <laughs> I'm not going to see it if you give it to me right now. All right. Two links are out. But I think I need to take out another blank link. I think I messed that up because it needs to be more of a... Oh, no. Wait. Eh, 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 eh. So, no. I think I'm good, actually. We're doing this. We're learning as we go along. <laughs> there you go. Happy to oblige. Ah. <laughs> yes, I did all four, damn it. <laughs> so, ah. Son of a gun. So now I've got this. I'm going to friggin' put this back on. No. BKXC nugget count. Just the people saying it. <laughs> so, can I drive this back in? This is this is gonna make for a bad chain. <laughs> Go on my Instagram. Instagram BKXC BK BKXC, and you'll see my gloves. Well, I'll, I'll give it a try, but uh, if it's tight, if it shifts like shit, then it obviously was the, the the bad news. Boneless pizza. <laughs> Fox DPX2 shock on this thing. I'm going back to Spain in September. No doubt about it. I'm I'm probably gonna go on Basque MTB. Backcountry Pyrenees every day, every year till the day I die. It's just damn good. <laughs> I need some zip ties. You're you're right about that. Yep, carbon carbon uh, wheels as well. Seven forty twos. It's it's kind of Basque country. It's kind of Spain. It's all of the above. Different bits and pieces, like Ainsa. Greasy, greasy. <laughs> in the Bronson. Oh shit. That's way too tight. Holy crap. I don't know if I should have taken any links out. Dun dun dun. So. <laughs> you don't think it's too tight? Well, you know what? So I can put the chain on otherwise, but so let's let's see if I don't if I can get it to not slip out of my hands here. It's not even gonna reach to. Fully extended. Pull this down. Fuck me. God damn it. Just trying to visualize the chain length, like at its tightest possible moment. So even there. Yeah. I sh yeah. It. <laughs> 
Oh, boo. Maybe because I was getting a phone call. I Let's see if I can go into... Uh, I'm gonna go into airplane mode and make sure I'm on Wi-Fi, even though I'm in uh, Wi-Fi mode. We're still here. Max is texting me. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 a little stuff. Let's I'm gonna check my battery. That's uh also important here. Eh, battery's going good, sweet. So oh shit. So I don't feel like I've measured it properly at all. So it's uh I feel like it's too short. Even though we measured, it's still it's that's gonna be too tight. That's still uh not good. Trail goat. It says all night, buddy. It says all night. Even if I put it together right now, I think it's still gonna be too tight. So it's uh don't blame it on Ice Cream Trucker. He's he's the only fucking one in here that uh works at a shop that is that is helping me out. <laughs> okay, Max says it's plenty long. <laughs> Thank you for texting me, Max. I appreciate it, but we are not, uh... Okay, you guys think it'll be good? Then I'm, I'm going with you guys. That it's never too tight. <laughs> Freaking... We're, we're, we're joking. <laughs> Thank you, Neil. I appreciate that. Boom! Keep living the dream for us all. That is, that is the, that is the goal. That is the promise. And that is what I've been doing. It's pretty damn incredible to live this life. And if it stops tomorrow, I friggin' made an impact. I know I made an impact, so it's pretty damn amazing. And to know you guys are rooting for me is just, ah, it's, it's pretty amazing too. It's a damn amazing thing, my friends. Hey, I never said anything was done. <laughs> Thank you, Cameron. I appreciate that. There's a lot of good stuff on Patreon for sure. The back catalog is uh, ridiculous. It's a SRAM chain. Eagle. I don't know if uh, KMC makes uh, Eagle chains. They probably do. They do it all. If they don't, they're fools. This is a brand new bike, but it's not my bike. It's a bike that Ibis has sent me to play with and uh, take to Switzerland for the next couple weeks, which is incredibly badass. It is basically the dream, right? To always be riding a different bike, to be testing out new stuff. I saw that the uh, the Mojo HD4 is kind of the, the new kid on the block, so I was like, hell yeah, I want to test that thing out. I want to test it all. That went in nice and easy. Cool. I didn't set any of the indexing because uh, the cable's already in, so I'm hoping that <laughs> maybe <laughs> we can do it, but we'll see. I, I, I doubt it. I bet we're still gonna need to uh, do, some, do some shiznit to get it to shift properly. Oh, I did it again. Son of a bitch. I did this last time. <laughs> you have to do it a thousand times to actually do it right. So I routed the chain on here because I can feel it friggin' 
rubbing up against that spot. Dumbass mechanic. I'm getting there, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm doing it. chain is gonna smack slap me in the face here now uh, it's a fun day what else is going on here <laughs> how to make a thimble from an inner tube The chat has gone to shit. <laughs> yeah, Savant, it is weirdly therapeutic. Like, honestly, like live streams are kind of weird like that, where you can kind of have it uh, on in the background, and it's just kind of something that's going on and, and happening, and you're kind of into it, but you're kind of not, right? Like, it's kind of a, oh, Jesus Christ, I'm tying this shit up in knots. But, uh... Especially for you guys watching after this was actually recorded. It's a whole different, uh, whole different thing. The tires are extremely wide. Cooking lessons after the build. <laughs> You're asking the wrong guy about that. <laughs> Sadly, not my first time I've put a chain on. <laughs> <laughs> Aiden, uh, tell your mom that this is educational, first and foremost. Highly educational. <laughs> Scrambled eggs. It's not my bike. I can't put a decal on this thing. I've not tested Da Vinci yet. You would have seen a video about it. You would have seen it on Instagram, but I would like to. I think they'd be pretty cool to test out. Here we go. <laughs> All my mods are asleep except for Ice Cream Trucker. <laughs> it's all good. We will suffer. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, good night from Canada. Yes, I could have Seth do the work and me do the entertaining. Boom. In there. Mucho better. Sweet. Feeling good. There's always a pain in the ass to do without the pedals on. How about that hub, huh? How about that? Dang it, the uh, spam, ch spat, ch champ spat, pam spat, spam chat is no good. I hate that. Ah, Chris is word <laughs> woodworking in the shop while listening to me bumble around with my chain. I love it, man. That's great, San Diego. That that really is kind of the thing. Is we're just hanging out and we're. We're doing it, right? Catch that hub outside. How about that? All right, let's go get the uh, pedals to make this a little bit easier on my ass. Can I get back here uh, before? Ooh, this this is uh, this is too good to be true here. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, getting a little, uh, a little ridiculous. Probably, let's see, what, what we got? We got 500 people watching. I guess that's enough for a target. That's okay. We will, we will get there. All right, so, can I, uh, I don't, no, my pedals are on my bike, so it's going to take a minute to, uh, to get these. Wait, no, I think I've got, uh, got some flats. Alan Fitchcroft, good morning from the UK. Got my flats. Definitely switching to flats. Flats are the best. Flat pedals win medals. You guys all know that. You've been over this many times. These are Deity. I don't know. I've had them for years and years. These are not greased up. <laughs> They'll be fine. Well, I gotta put the pedals on to actually run it through the gears. That's kind of the point. Doesn't feel great, I'll tell you that much. Well, actually it doesn't have lube on it, so that's kind of, that would make sense if it doesn't feel that great. Shirt's too bright. I only hate doing it because I don't understand it. That's kind of the thing, right? It's like, well, I think I did it good, but did I do it good or not? I don't think it'd be the derailleur hanger already, right? Like in shipment, I think it's pretty pretty solid. I think it's just all, all everything else, all the shit that I, I suck at. Oh. <laughs> They're aluminum bars. Ba -ba -bum. Brought to you by 150 grams of sugar. Alex Dolan, when's the first ride day in Switzerland? Yeah, uh, I think that will be Sunday. Yeah, I'll probably get a good jet lag ride going. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Thanks, Neil. Have a good night, man. Yeah, Mount Wilson was very good. So... So since I ran all that degreaser on there, I am going to loop the chain up. Let's do that. <laughs> the, the, it is very educational. It's very educational. Extremely educational. What's this guy? This is a... Uh... I don't know what this guy's deal is, but I'm not into it. All right, I'm going to get the lube. Oh, wait, I got lube right here. Let's see.
There's an ebb and flow to this. It's, it ebbs, it flows, it ebbs. Good night, Zach. Yeah, <laughs> background music means uh, copyright infringement, so you can put on your own little uh, background music. As long as it goes into the biggest and smallest gears addressed with the uh, the barrel shifter, yeah, I don't, I don't mind that as well. <laughs> hey, Joey Trek here. You know, I told you you couldn't build up your own bike, Brian. You, you can't do it without the help of Trek. I didn't have to pee yet. I'll tell you when I do. All right, the king of lubes, baby. Rock and roll extreme. You just never know what you're gonna run into. I would recommend Moab. It's a very cool place to ride. I would recommend you come with me. <laughs> come ride with me in October. The king of lube. King of lubes. Rock and roll extreme. God damn it, you guys are gonna judge me for the way I lose my bike now. Plenty. Hopefully, none got on the carpet. Move this pad down. Yeah, everyone's a critic. That's a whoop. Lube on the inside of the chain. <laughs> It does help though. Always learning. Okay, so we're lubed up. Hey, Neil Donahue. I guess it's a. Uh... Oh, here we go. We're feeling better now. A little bit of lube. That's the. really good. I don't believe it, but it felt really good. Yeah, these tires are giant. <laughs> They're like, they are right there for sure. Ty Redneck, thank you for the videos. Keep them up. I will. If you guys keep watching, I'll keep doing it. And especially if you keep super chatting and supporting me on Patreon or buying a shirt or something. That's how this keeps going. And it's freaking amazing. I appreciate it so much. And uh, Ty Redneck is just kind of a funny... Uh, Funny thing, I like it. Oh, here we go. So that felt good with the shifting. We're going back down. We'll see if this is worth it. So when you're going down, it means the shifting is pulling in, right? So you, the cable has to be looser if it needs adjustment. All right, let's try it out. Let's do some barrel adjusting. I'm trying to get it to drop into the next gear. No can do. Come on, come on, baby. There we go. I was going. 
when I just changed it. So I definitely need to learn that. I need to learn which direction all this stuff is. Should have got a fat bike. Yes, I actually do get money if you buy hand up gloves, Matt. It's uh that's exactly how it uh that's that's how it goes. Ah, I should put the <laughs> dork disc back on here, right? Cool. So Good, feeling good. <clears throat> oh. Closing the window because I think the neighbor heard me. They're out there. Uh. Whew. Okay, so we got this going. Not sure what I'm gonna do. Uh, not sure what I'm gonna do the next uh, SoCal trip. <laughs> All right, I just saw a serious question, and it needs to be addressed. See, it's not too hard to uh, block people when you're on the phone holding it in your hand so yeah so the lighting isn't that great right here but yeah you can get them pretty close they're not like uh, they're not exactly the same these uh, spammers are, are killing the world looks pretty good <laughs> Not the thin paw grips, baby. It's all about the fat paws. Yeah, these are the thin paw grips right here. <laughs> Completely thin pawed. Thank you, Brian, for that 2NZ. I appreciate that. DPX. Doing that. Looking pretty good. Er, er. Let me make sure I get that one. Kind of a, oh no, don't spill the degreaser. That would be a problem. <laughs> Thanks, ice cream trucker. That tire did come off a tractor. This thing is massive. The front one is even bigger. Ah, shoot, I put them in timeout instead of uh, banning. It's a full-time job out there. It's 1,200 grams. It's, uh, it's a million grams. It's 1,000 grams. SRAM GX, this whole group set. Hey, what's up, Alvaro? Good to see you, man. Okay, Dun -dun. it's like 2.7s and 2.6, they're giant. GX Eagle, 1x11, 1x12. Yep, so uh, this is the Ibis Mojo HD4. As the title suggests, Ibis sent me this bike to take to Switzerland for the next couple weeks and have a badass time on it. So that's basically, it's kind of the whole... Uh, the whole thing is to go take it out and have an awesome adventure. I didn't request any color frame. Obviously, I would have loved the red. I think the red color is really badass, but I hey, beggars can't be choosers, so. I took this. Uh, I don't know what it is about you guys that are fans of Rocky Mountain, but you seem to post about it constantly in the chat. I'd love to ride a Rocky Mountain. Send Rocky Mountain an email. Get him to send me a bike. I'll ride it. Okay, so I'm I'm decently satisfied with that. It's probably not perfect, but uh, yeah, the silver with the lime is it is pretty sweet. I'm I definitely uh, I'm getting a kick out of it for sure. 
this uh <laughs> like in real life like this is a beautiful beautiful thing it's pretty neat brian mirror did i miss that no i didn't i got that one just making sure it's a mega seat post. I only have it out this far because I don't want to clamp the dropper when it's not my uh, bike. Pinion transmission. I have no idea what that is, so I have no opinion. <laughs> pinion? Opinion. Okay, so that wasn't that bad. I think I'm actually doing pretty good. <laughs> Do we use the zip ties to put on the fat paw grips? Ah, oh, someone had a free investment? Darn it. We missed it out. <laughs> we missed out on it. Drew Nelson. Dude, thank you. I appreciate that very much. This fine Pepsi-Cola is on you. <laughs> oh, Mackenzie, you're so right about that. If it had green rims, this actually would be, like, ridiculously badass, I would say. So, <laughs> how, how cool would that be? Yeah, it shifts. It shifts up and down. It's shifting pretty damn good right now. Shifts into the lowest. Shifts into the highest. There's a couple in the middle that it's a, a little bit slow on, but I think she's running uh, decently enough right now. Thank you, Mr. Duck. Need some egg hangers on there. Good night, Eric. <laughs> Evergreen calls Pepsi a uh, mouth rot now. That's very true, man. I, 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 I almost need to always ha be having, I need to be taking a swig of the water, taking the side swig to make sure that uh, the mouth rot. Good night, Debaser. Man, it's been nice hanging out with you guys. This is very cool. What's up, Murph? Welcome aboard. We are by no means done. <laughs> I'll tell you about that. Crispy ass nuggets dropping a new hot hot beat out there. I appreciate that. Quick bunny hop. Brian Kennedy cross country. Look at that cross country. The B tension screw. Okay, I'll play with the B tension. You might be right about that. I've got the little B tension meter out in the garage. That's worth uh, looking into. Let me go grab that. Good night, Nursky. <laughs> I, you guys got to remember, remind me about generic ass cleaner. Cause, uh, I could actually do that. I could get like a little label made or like have something and just like, you know, a little bottle generic ass cleaner. I'll be back. We die. No. Okay. I'm just making sure. When I see you guys say rip, uh, I think the actual screen went dead. The clicking sound when you're not pedaling is the engagement of the hub. So the, the hub in here, I'm going to do my best to explain this, but uh, the, uh, <laughs> the hub engages. Thank you, ice cream trucker. Uh, so basically, you know, there's this thing called a free hub, so you can spin backwards, and then the, the, the more, the louder it is, the quicker it engages, you know, that's basically, that's great. Oh, you guys are asking the wrong people if you're asking uh, tips about, about mechanic stuff. All right, so B tension isn't too bad. Just go a little bit more here. Oh, now my drinks are blocking the chat. It has Ibis brand hubs. It's kind of like their own little white label. The typical airline charges $150 each way to fly my bike. That's been my experience. Sometimes less, sometimes, well, never more than that, but uh, sometimes less. I think in Spain it was 75 bucks. The rule is, it's never the first... Ah. 
Always a different size. Always a different size. <laughs> this chat is all over me. The bike shop is going to be able to hip, help you out with the skipping chain, dude. That's where you got to go. Yep, it's a large. It is a large. <laughs> I am going to Switzerland on the Ibis. She looks dead on already. The silence, the silence in the chat. <laughs> Some more shifting. Whoa, this uh, Pepsi is getting me getting the burps going. about that in the stand the stand yeah burps are better than burps nova i remember uh tim allen had a pretty good uh joke about that this mighty fine bicycle uh i don't know you'd have to google uh ibis mojo hd4 g uh, sram G gx eagle build and then you got to add the carbon wheels so yeah probably seven thousand dollars i'd say i do not vape i do not partake in any kind of uh skullduggery or uh, shenanigans as per such like cigarettes or alcohol or uh, coffee uh, any kind of pills I'll have a Pepsi every once in a while thank you Chris the, sh the shift is looking good alright so Dun dun, making sure everything's going down, making sure the phone is looking good. My computer is frozen up once again. Got a lot of good equipment. Yes, I'm sure Pepsi is worse than a lot of things. I, I have no, no doubt about that for sure. Sugar is uh, a horrible, horrible thing. Where's the chicken nuggets joke from? <laughs> a lot of the videos, man. Oh, good call on the battery. God damn. GX Eagle is not too heavy. GX Eagle is perfectly fine. Yeah, I actually should have used uh, Pepsi as the degre degreaser. You're right about that. Sorry, got to turn off the computer and turn the some bitch back on. It's all right. I can hang out here. Dun, dun. I don't have any plans to go to uh, Austria. It's going to be a pure Switzerland tr trip. <laughs> Pepsi would have dissolved the chain. <laughs> You're right about that. Yeah, I'm all about the fat. I, I am about the, the fat for sure, but uh, you got to do what you got to do. gonna be a couple weeks in Switzerland I don't know how I feel about an oval chain ring I think it'd be kind of cool <laughs> the 
bike is looking good. I do. I never ride high because I do not partake in any kind of uh, any kind of uh, d drug, any uh, mind altering. Uh, I don't know how warm Switzerland is right now. It's it's got it's summer. It's gonna be warm. <laughs> Chat gets weird after 10 p.m. Yeah, it's just kind of it's kind of random. Cause I'm not actually doing anything, so it's kind of a uh, it's a. Uh... Yeah, I was about to break out the Lara bars, but it's kind of hard to uh, to eat while I'm like doing this. It's kind of a. Uh... Yeah, Savant, I really wanted to see you. I wanted to meet you, man. I was uh, I was actually looking forward to to seeing you, but uh, Downeyville was cool. It was actually really fun. It was it was fun to get to meet a few subscribers and shred, and the videos are gonna be pretty damn good. So it's pretty damn cool. The Bronson is still alive and well. I just want to test out as many different things as I can, and Ibis said I could test out this bike, so that's what I'm doing. Yeah, I'll get the grips on here in a little bit. Yeah, a, a brand new bike, Ryan. It came kind of not as uh, not as assembled as normal, so I had to put the brakes on and I had to put the handlebars on and the the sh like these the all that stuff is not the cockpit is really not set up yet, so I need to set that stuff up too. I do not ride hardtail. The Orbe is still out there. I just not I'm not doing much XC so. The, the Orbea is kind of uh, sitting, gathering dust. The Nugatorium, dude, uh, it's it's up. It's up and running. I don't know if I, I think I took a Instagram stories picture, but if not, I'll try to do one tomorrow morning. But uh, the bike shop is going to be fucking sweet, guys. Like, I'm so excited about that. Like, getting this bike today, getting the bike shop up and running, like the the shed it's a shed in the backyard but like those two things have been huge goals of mine and then hitting 75,000 subscribers is huge so all of this is all freaking amazing to to have it all happen good night groff i appreciate you buddy this bike costs at least ten thousand dollars rent a nomad ross go for it go big good night john i'm waiting for my computer to Friggin' boot up. So I'm still back here answering questions, but that's fine. I'm digging it. SB6, yeah, it's pretty good. Jesse Wales is out. Peace. No, I don't know if it's 10,000 bucks. You gotta, you gotta Google it. Google it up. Yeah, I hope I do. I, like, that's the thing. That's the point. Like, I'm not, it's not a marketing thing for Ibis, but it is right like so i get out there i have fun and i'm like man this bike feels so great or like yeah you know this is kind of weird but really there's no losing on letting me ride a bike and go have fun right like i i can't think of a, a bike that was like awful that was like oh my god i hate it no oh, i'm never gonna ride this bike again right i mean even that diamondback i rode that was fine it was just just fine like you know it's not carbon and oh it felt heavy but we had a ton of fun on that thing so it's really just about adventures and just having fun so that's that's what i'm all about ted this is some kind of park tool something i don't know the exact uh it's pretty old daniel the shock whiz i just haven't tested it enough so uh the shock whiz when i put it on the shock was like yep you're good <laughs> so it's like oh man so i haven't put it on the fork yet but i probably should put it on this uh shock What pedals better? It's, uh, that's a, I mean, what pedals better, the Bronson or the SB6? I guess the Bronson pedals uphill better, but yeah, I just don't really think it's that much of a big, uh, a big deal. Yeah, my bike, my bikes were stolen a few months ago. That was that's a whole different story. That's like when I got, uh, that's when I got the Bronson after my SB my SB66 got stolen. Andres, what uh, what time is it out there in Poland today at this moment? The Rat 4 has been really good, man. I actually don't regret it at all, David. Like, it's it's been pretty friggin' solid. I think that's a 32. I think pretty much... Oh, 7.39 a.m.? Nice. Welcome aboard. Yeah, I probably need to put some uh, all-mountain-style stuff on the frame. <laughs> I've never ridden a Vitus bike. All right, my computer's done... 
Good night, Nick. Appreciate it, dude. Computer's done rebooting. Man, this uh, it's kind of funny. It's not that hot in here, but it is hot enough to. Pop out this chat. Yeah, if you just Google hand up gloves BKXC, the link in the description of what I'm wearing, you can find it. You'll 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 find it, buddy. I believe in you. They say BKXC on them. They're my the trail hunter or something like that. I was never in the full-on Boy Scouts, but I, I was in like Weeblos, and I think I got the uh, the Arrow of Light. Yeah, Matt, the pick kind of does look off sometimes, I'm, I'm sure. El Paso, Texas for Technical XC. I love it. MTV Savant, I'm never going to leave the Bay Area. That's This is where I'm at. This is where my family's at. I will do everything within my power to stay in the Bay Area. I can always go fly somewhere else. So, this is, this is where I'm at. By hook or by crook. Awesome, Daniel. I love hearing that when you guys are uh, planning trips because of my videos. That is the highest compliment that I can get, that I'm actually inspiring you to get out and go and uh, and get there. There are a lot of ways to find your, my email. The best way is to ask 10 of your friends how you can find BKXC's email and pay them $10 to find it. Yeah, it is pretty funny every time the DVO comes up. <laughs> it is kind of funny how many engineers and programmers and that kind of, those kind of people's uh, uh, that ride. It's kind of a weirdly nerdy thing, right? Like it's not nerdy, but it is nerdy. It's it's kind of this blend of both worlds. Man, I like this cable routing here. So it's got the internal, and then it comes up here, and this is zip tied here. So. The Bronson, these two cables are just sitting here and they're like rubbing, so this is rubbing right here. So I might have a little bit of tape that I could put on there just to help prevent. But this cable comes up here and this is really nicely done. Some nice details. Let's, let's get in here. Let's, let's check out a few of these things. Not enough light. There's not enough light in here, but that's okay. There's in the flight right there. Pretty sweet. All right. Go back to Whistler. That's all I see when I, I see those kind of comments. Go back to Whit go go to Pittsburgh. Duh. <laughs> Sorry, man. I just. You just gotta, you gotta, you gotta do, put some effort in. You, see ya, Groff. I appreciate that, man. But it's just like, just say like, oh man, one great trail I ride in Whistler is this. Like, that's how you, <laughs> that's, that's how you make a human connection. This is a, a human thing right here. It's not just, hey, you should go to Dirty Hill. Go hit banana peel. I didn't test ride the I just I just, I uh, the mojo. Well, actually, I did. I, I rode the HD three in uh, Moon Point, and that was pretty cool. Ice cream trucker. For some reason, I thought you were in Florida. You're in Wisconsin. What's up, Three Meiji Machik? <laughs> I really want to know how to say your name because I see your comments all the time and I'm trying to pronounce it. Three Meiji, B Meiji, Bajija. I haven't taken any more uh, lessons from Ian yet, Steve, but I definitely want to, to get on that. I, uh, I hear St Ian is a very busy man. Like, he is freaking killing it uh, doing his lessons. So, 
I am so happy for him. Because it's the same thing, right? It's a guy who uh, went out and followed his dreams. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome, Brian's crispy ass nuggets. Taking notes. Ah, Dale, Rude Rock in Queenstown, that thing was awesome. It was a great trail and probably one of the best looking trails of all time. So it rates pretty high, man. It rates pretty damn high. Okay, we're gonna break out the zip ties. Crooked Penis in San Diego, good, uh, good trail. I have a feeling it's, uh, it's uh, not a legal trail, but we'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> The Polish, the Polish stuff. So one of my buddies that uh, I've ridden with a couple times, he came on the St. George trip, Mateusz. He's uh, Polish as well, and we were playing with Google Translate, and I was trying to say some of the Polish stuff, so it's pretty, uh, pretty tough. Erfan, welcome aboard. I, Ibis sent me the Mojo HD4 so I can take to Switzerland, and I'm super juiced about it. I'm heading to Switzerland tomorrow and getting the bike built up. It's just a demo bike. I'm just going to take it for a couple weeks. Yeah, man, I want to go to uh, Mills Peak, Chris. I've got it on the got it on the calendar. I want to get there. All right, so there are a couple zip ties on the ground, but the way Seth did it, he had like a fucking million zip ties when he put on the grips. I feel like I'm not going to be able to compete with that. It w he was a true bike hacker. Soapy water is also a uh, it's also an option, Thomas. I know you. I know you're uh, on the soapy water kick, but how much time do we how how much time do we have that for this? Cody, I am a single man. I don't have a wife or a husband, so I uh, I don't have to worry about that, which is obviously a uh, a pretty damn luxury to to be able to do my own thing. You know I don't have rubbing alcohol. You know I don't have, uh, you know I don't have, uh, hairspray. Got zip ties. Got two zip ties here. Do they have Tinder for empty beers? Ah, you just gotta be out on the trail. You just gotta be out living your life, and then, uh, s shit will happen. Yes, I would come back to Australia, for sure. Soapy zip ties. Thank you, George Washington. <laughs> I'm just gonna play with this. I'm experimenting right now. It's a, it's an experiment. Gonna need a lot more, I think. I love a dog, but uh, but the dog needs to be taken care of. I'm traveling so much. I'm so busy. I don't have time to mow my lawn. I don't have time to do my laundry. Like that kind of shit is like, if you have a dog, that thing is gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> Ice cream trucker is dead on. <laughs> Get ready. This is going to be good shit. <sighs> Dog slobber on the grips. You're, you're right about that. Hayden, that is the goal. I am going to make a whole series of videos about my shop. I'm going to have a live stream where I'm just asking you guys what kind of stuff I should do, uh, do in the shop. So the, the shop that I'm going to create is going to be badass and it's going to be a whole a whole series and it's going to be yeah it's it's one of my big dreams for sure <laughs> Caleb if you're in the bay area and you have a car you can you can definitely come mow my lawn after we meet in person and I vet you a little bit but all right we're up to 3 zip ties now <laughs> I don't know what that's in reference to, Simon, but it's pretty funny. I'm going to Chamonix in Switzerland. And then a bunch of other stuff. Just put a ton of grease on it. <laughs> I know. I know about the hairspray. I know. <laughs> oh, zip ties only work for taking them off? Okay, I get, I get that. <laughs> Meiji, you know what happened to this. <laughs> I'm 35 years old, Jonathan. 
All right, we'll, we'll try soapy water. The problem with soapy water is, uh, it's just, uh, okay. <laughs> we'll use the air. Oh, you might be right about this. Yeah, it's, it is France. It's Switzerland. Then we go to France. We're in Switzerland. We're in, we're in, uh, Italy. We're all over the place. This is the true struggle. This is where, this is where the live stream gets real. That's, <laughs> but then my hands are very sticky, right? <laughs> That's I can't believe I found myself in the same situation. <laughs> ah, pretty funny. I think I, it's it's partly just because I'm hanging out, right? I'm just hanging out with you guys and having fun. So it's part of the reason why I'm so unproductive. But <laughs> grip again 2.0 because <laughs> this is the, this is the good shit. This is where the fun happens. So it's. It's uh, it's worth it for me to just be a dumbass and and just have fun with you guys. <laughs> Steve, you are right, man. You are damn right. I should have set the limit screws on these grips before I installed them. You're so right, Evergreen. <laughs> I haven't seen you comment on uh, YouTube before. Maybe you have, maybe you haven't, but. I'm usually pretty good about the names and the faces and stuff, so welcome aboard. You had some good funny shit tonight. I appreciate it. give hot water a try <laughs> dish soap and some water see the problem is I don't have like a tub maybe I'll use this freaking... maybe I'll just use this thing it's kind of big but I keep a bunch of my group go left I don't need a tub all right Thomas you it's a uh... This is like trying to communicate with a deaf person because you get limited when you type too many times in the chat. So it's like, <laughs> so Thomas is probably like, no, I can't tell him what the problem is. Use a saucer. Yeah, I mean, even a so well, I could, I guess I could use a saucer. I got the Windex. I, I think I did the Windex <laughs> 50 gallon <-yon> lube. <laughs> uh... They do make lock-ons. I just don't like the way they look. I, they do make lock-on fat pots, but I, I'm just not big onto the uh, the way they look. So I'm not I'm not into it. Okay, <laughs> this is the biggest container that I've got. I've got warm water, it's soaked up. This is gonna be perfect. This is gonna just work perfectly. I already got the water all over myself, so you guys are, are on it right now. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, it's like a Fitbit type thing. So it's like a, uh, yeah, here we go, here we go. Soapy water. <laughs> They're gonna go right on. They're nice and warm, nice and hot. Hey. Yeah. Son of a bitch. <laughs> just the inside. How the hell are you just the inside? <laughs> Let me plug the end of, end of the bar too. Ah! Spin it. Twist it. 
You gotta put on the BKXC gloves for this. Twi twist it. Bop it. Yeah, I don't have an air compressor. Air needs to escape. We're gonna force the air. Jerk it. I'm gonna get a core sample if I smash the end of my palm with it. Oh, oh, oh. Trying to get me killed. Oh, these hand up gloves work perfectly with this shit. Oh, we're cooking with grease now. The goofiest shit I've ever done on camera. It won't be the last. <laughs> Season two, Simon, when I put on pedals. <laughs> Applesauce, okay. Not a problem. Now I just need to move this brake lever in because it's a little too far. I'm getting better, man. This is, uh, we are all learning. We're all evolving together. It's a beautiful thing. Whoa. Use glue, okay. T-Rex Thomas Fisk. He is the man tonight. How long have I been MTBing? I think seriously, I would say, shoot, I don't know how long seriously I, uh, whoa. Hey, round two's not over, Steve. We're still got a little bit, still got a little bit to go. <laughs> you never know. This could be the greatest comeback in the history of uh, getting fucked up by grips. I think that guy wants you to subscribe to his, uh, YouTube channel. Somebody uh, translate for us. These are the Wolf Tooth Fat Paw Grips, Zach. Have you ever seen one of my videos? <laughs> Thanks, Bijan. <sighs> Haven't been to the gym in two months, brother. Deodorant spray. <laughs> nice. That's a good one, man. Right rate review in the house. I knew these Southern Hemisphere guys would start showing up. What's up, man? I'm planning on getting to Cape Town and riding with ride rate review in December. So that is going to be pretty damn cool. Macho man, Randy Savage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we don't need anything else. The bars are on, baby. All right. John Cena. I don't think I have a John Cena impression, but uh, they're on, baby. What, what time is it where you guys are at? Let's check in. We're, we're sitting at what? We're sitting at. I can't even tell what time it is. It's 11 p.m. in the West. 8 a.m., 9 a.m., that's so cool. Oh, Miss Elizabeth. Ah. Hell yeah. Gotta have my fat paws. These Ibis grips will be going back to them in perfect condition. Put the condom on the inside of the grip. <laughs> 6 p.m., oh, 4 o'clock in Oz. 12 a.m., Boise, Idaho. 9 a.m. in Finland. I love seeing 1 p.m. in Thailand. Oh, what's up, Bijan? 
And so I love seeing all the different countries. It really is the coolest thing. Luis in Houston. 2 p.m. in SG. Urfan, where are you at? SG? I could guess, but Singapore maybe, right? There's a lot of folks in Singapore that watch the channel, man. You got to use two condoms to get the grips on. <laughs> it's all fucked up. Phoenix, Arizona. 11 p.m. in California. 1 a.m. in Chi-Town. Ch Shout out to Chi-Town. Love it, man. I love it. Thanks, you guys, for uh, sticking around. This has been fun. All right, so... I'm feeling good about the bike. I probably need to go take the bike out for a spin to actually feel good because right now I'm feeling good. My videos are exported. I just need to get them uploaded and I can actually use this computer tomorrow to upload. So, it's, uh, oh, a BKXC stem cap. <laughs> you guys are right about that. So I should go get the, uh, I should get the, the, what, the bar end plugs and the stem cap on there. Thanks, Zach. Love from Australia. I appreciate it. Get the butt plugs on there. All right, we're going to go on a, a little break here while I take a little bit of a whiz. And I'm going to go get a few things. So we'll be back. All right, so this is kind of like having your wife and your girlfriend meet. So this is uh, this is just, just she's, she's a lot prettier, she's a lot newer, she's a lot shinier, but it doesn't mean she's better than you. So let's just lean, lean one on the other. All right. I love my squeaky ass door. Oh, I need to turn off the old uh, party time. Sorry about that. Yeah, we're raving in here, buddy. We are raving in here. Yeah, man, I definitely remember the uh, the first ride of Redemption 17, of course, in Alabama. Hell yeah, dude. That was so much fun, man. Harris. Yeah, I, I keep seeing Harris uh, comment, but I wasn't sure what his first name was. I just couldn't remember. So I remember the H, but uh, that was so fucking cool that you guys came out that day. I'm so glad. And uh, <laughs> your mom was calling you a bunch of times, right? <laughs> There's Harris. What's up, buddy? Simon got his Redemption 17 t-shirt today, finally. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm guessing you were a little bit uh, further away than uh, normally, right? Good night was here. Yeah, it was pretty funny that your mom called a lot, but I, I hope you guys liked the video. That was so much fun. So cool that you guys showed up. 
That is life. That is the life lesson. Fucking show up and stuff will happen. Get out and go and do. People do not show up. People friggin' sit around, they think about it. You guys came out and you did it and that was so much fun. All right, we're gonna use a little flathead screwdriver here. Buffering, buffering. Nah, I'm looking good, okay, just checking. <laughs> green night or GRN is it green is it GRN uh, 9209 that's pretty funny they should just let me keep the uh, keep the, the bike so I don't have to get the grips off all right I'm gonna gently try to pry this uh, stem cap off and this is kind of gonna be the test of whether these are <laughs> removable or not Ah, that sucks, Mason, but uh, you'll come back, dude. Like, broken bones, just, uh, it, it, it's a test, right? It's a test, and, oh, so you break an arm, it's a test. Like, you friggin' get your bike stolen, it's a test. Everything's a test in life, and you'll remember these struggles, and you'll remember kind of being down in the dumps, but the way you push forward is to have these moments. Like, your moments of struggle, like the hardest moments in your life, you'll look back and you'll be like, wow, those were like the most important moments of my life. So it's a struggle, it sucks, but uh, you're gonna make it through. It'll be eight weeks, something like that, right? And your arm will be good, you'll get back on the bike, but just friggin' keep doing it, man. The boxes in the corner behind me, random shit. Okay, so got the stem cap. BKXC, a month without riding in big in the big scheme of things, Mason, that's really not too bad. I know it's a fucking lifetime. I know, I know, but uh, it's uh, you'll you'll do it. You'll get it. One hundred and six in Minnesota. Okay, that's the the time, not the temperature. I was gonna say, I didn't think it got that hot up in those parts. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Bijan, I'm not religious actually, but I, I guess I believe in like, I believe in karma. I believe in that kind of stuff. But uh, there are a lot of good lessons in religion for sure. We get tested, we get knocked down, we get back up, right? Like all that stuff is very, very, very important. Okay, if I take this stem cap off, where the fuck is my other stem cap? I, I don't know if I can take the stem cap off because... I don't want to swap this one with that one, and then it's weird, and it's different. Eh. I guess I will. I'll just do it. McGregor versus Mayweather. It's just a friggin' uh, sideshow. That's what I, I think about that. The actual fight is not going to be that exciting, but all the other stuff is pretty funny. As a fan of pro wrestling, it's uh, it's funny to see like the the real fighters do the pro wrestling thing. I've never been hit by a car while I'm on my bike, but most road bikers have a story like that where they got hit by a car. I am hopefully coming to South Africa in December. Nothing 100% yet. I don't my I don't know have my exact itinerary, but that's that's the hope. Man, it's pretty hot on Mars right now. All right, got that stacked up. The Bronson is gonna uh, be left alone. She's gonna be just fine. <laughs> Ryan's back. Uh, yeah, nothing, no plans for the Bronson quite yet. There's always, I always wanna test out new stuff, right? So there's always, Always new things I'm looking to uh, to get. Brian <laughs> Kennedy cross dressing BK XT. <laughs> uh. Jesus, how many times is he gonna ask? It was answered before you even asked.
Welcome to MTB, Bob Dole. Luker, good morning, man. Oh, currently 83 degrees in Boise, Idaho. Holy moly. That's uh, utterly ridiculous. I don't even know if I want to go out there anymore. <laughs> Rate Blue Derby on a scale of 1 to 10. You know what? I bet it's... Um, I'd say it was a 7. It was really good, but I think I'd like to uh, go back because I think there's a lot more trails that they built. Uh, recently, that would be awesome, Brian Alvarez. I'm glad, uh, glad you were able to nail a stream down. I know it's tough with uh, work schedules and all that stuff. <laughs> I've been to New Zealand, bud. Where you been? Oh no. Whoops. That's what happens when you uh, lean your bike against stuff. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, you never know what's going to happen. That's like my very first video was about leaning your stuff up against shit and how it, uh, how it uh, gets uh, gets blasted. <laughs> Have you been here the whole time, Tony? <laughs> the hit, shit just hit the fan. Getting a little dirty here. I haven't even packed, so uh, getting ready here. Okay. So, ba -ba -bum. oh, okay, I was gonna put the stem cap on, so. Before I was so rudely interrupted. I've never made homemade snacks, but it's probably a good idea. Instead of friggin' paying for Lara bars. Bijan, go on my Instagram. Look at my about page. You can find it. I, I can, I fucking know you can do it, my friend. Jesse, it's a large. How chicken nuggets are assembled. <laughs> right now I'm putting this uh, cap on. I really don't have a good angle on it right now. That seems decent enough. Don't want it to be all cockeyed. The flight tomorrow, the first leg, I think is 10 hours from SFO to Copenhagen, and then two or three hours from Copenhagen to Geneva. Then Geneva up to Chamonix, and then eventually maybe ride my bike. <laughs> Yes, that's when you can't find my email, you ask 10 of your friends if they can find my email. Graubünden. Maybe I will. I'm not exactly sure all the different places I'm going, so I might actually end up going to Graubünden. Graubünden. Falls Creep and Mount Buller were awesome, man. Australia was awesome. If, like, you've seen the video, right? Like, that's all you need to know. If I'm having a blast in the video, then, oh, I just stepped on something sharp, bare feet. If I'm having a blast in the video, then that's all that matters, right? Like, that means I'm having a blast. Never the, it's never the right one. It's never the right one on first, 
first glance. Yes, I am a Neanderthal. I think we all have a little bit of Neanderthal. Oh, come on. Looking for the five millimeter. Anybody seen the, the five millimeter? Just had some live chat deja vu right there. Very bizarre. A lot of random pieces and parts just fell out of that. Carbon shards. Try not to step on them. No, I'm not reading the comments. I know, man, it's gonna take a lot of studying, but I'll, I'll get them, I guess. I saw you the first time. I saw you the first time. Ooh, I actually got the green, so it matches a, a little bit. Cameron, Spain has been my favorite riding destination so far. Faux show. Sure. Ooh, I think there's some, uh, some critters living inside my handlebars. I'm going to have to clean this off. When am I coming to Singapore? I, I'll come to Singapore when I'm convinced that there's actually good mountain biking there. I'm not really sure about it. Not really sure. 800 millimeter bars. Good thing I've got this tub of soapy warm water to clean off these boring plugs. I have come to Australia. Length of stem, unknown. E50 plus or minus seven eighths. <laughs> Sweet. Got the SB6 instead, Emmett, nice. I will not know what fork is best for a long time. It's gonna take a long time of writing and testing to know. Maybe Pinkbike knows what fork's best. I've been to Sonoma County. I've got an Annadale video. Yep, I'm going back to Moab in October on a private trip with Chasing Epic. Favorite trail in the East Bay. Man, the, uh, the uh, Joaquin Miller stuff was really cool. This is not tightening. What are we doing here? Yeah, I guess it is. <laughs> Jessica, she's still, Jessica's still rocking. How's summer going? You still having to study? <laughs> cool. Get the MCATs going. Dr. Chen very soon. Well, you know, in eight years or so. Maybe maybe 20 years if you're lucky. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm gonna miss the Stormy Saddle Enduro. I'm pretty sad about that, actually, because that was my first Enduro, and uh, I definitely wanted to come back and do it, but I believe I'll be in Spain when the Stormy Saddle Enduro is uh, going on. Matthew, I don't have plans to go to Nepal, but I want to go to Nepal for sure. Thank you, Adam. I appreciate that, man. Will, my favorite tra trail in the world, somewhere in Spain. One of those Spain videos, uh, me and Carlos were just fucking ripping through that stuff, and it was quite incredible. Ben, and everybody that isn't sure, this is a uh, Ibis Mojo HD4 that Ibis sent me to actually go take to Switzerland and have fun on. So that's one of the big goals for this channel is to get bike companies to send me their latest and greatest bikes and for me to go friggin' have an awesome adventure on them and be like, wow, this is great, this is awesome, and uh, everybody wins, right? To hear me hooting and hollering on this bike and saying like, oh man, this is friggin' awesome. Living the dream indeed, Tyler. It's pretty crazy. These are uh, Maxxis Minion DHFs on front and rear, and they're, they're both giant. Like, I gotta check the, uh, check the numbers here. <laughs> Andres, we're still looking for the Polish mountains. <laughs> hey, I one out of three ain't bad. The beautiful women, that that that's a uh, sounds good to me. I actually don't use a Garmin right now because it broke on the. the that ride I did with the Worldwide Cycle where you guys. So I've just been using my Strava now. Or, on um, my iPhone. I've been using my iPhone. These tires look giant because the Ibis uh, rims are hugely wide. Skip the Netherlands? Yeah, <laughs> the Netherlands are pretty flat. I knew about that. Oh, sweet. At least I can use my... Uh, can use the Bronson as a guide, where it's like, okay, I'm about a pinky width in there. Cody, the worst crash I've ever had was probably in the Crockett Hills, and I broke my hand right here. There's like a little bump there now, and uh, yeah. It wasn't on film, just before I started the channel, but it really wasn't that bad, didn't really slow me down. SRAM GX drivetrain. I'd love to try out a Garmin watch mountain bike geek. That would be pretty dang cool. That's definitely kind of where, where I'd like to go next, but uh, Garmin won't answer my emails and uh, they're too fucking expensive. Yes, I will come to South Africa. Ah, oh, shoot, I screwed that accent up horribly. Come to South, South Africa. Yeah, eh, that's kind of, I know you guys don't, that if you're actually a South African, it doesn't sound good, but. To all the other people, <laughs> it's spot on. <laughs> South Africa, yeah, I'll be there. I'll be there. <laughs> Bill, I'm sure some people have been on here for hours and I haven't read their comments, so you're gonna have to stick it out a little longer, buddy. Mark, good stuff, dude. That is exactly my philosophy. It's not luck. You make it happen, man. You make it fucking happen. Everyone makes, everyone makes their choices in life. And we make what we want happen, right? It's either you're sitting around playing video games or you're somehow making yourself better to live the life of your dreams. The build is going, Hazard Dudes. It's going. Outdoor awesomeness. <laughs> Dude, Evan's still sticking around. I appreciate reviving the super chat. The super chat has definitely uh, has gone dry, but that really doesn't matter because it's all about hanging out. For sure, it's all about hanging out. But of course, I appreciate it. It's, it's a, it's a two-way street. 
All right, we got this lever going. How, how's my how's my shot looking? How's my shot looking? Chris, as long as that ghetto mountain bike setup gets you out on the trails, then uh, you're ahead of most people. Because most people are sitting around feeling sorry for themselves. So if you can get out on the trail, have some fun, get in shape, that's what mat that's what matters. I use Final Cut Pro all them trails, and actually, I kind of want to uh, kind of want to make a video about uh, my process because I, I know people are fascinated by like how I import my footage and how I do stuff. It's just I thought I would be able to whip that video out kind of quickly, but it takes a little bit. It takes a little bit, but I, I will make that video. And uh, you can email me if you want to email me and re remind me to make that video. I do not mind that at all. I am five foot ten inches tall, El Paso mountain biker. Just an average Joe. Trails in Vietnam. Just uh, just a few security complications like the landmines. <laughs> Marco got a new pivot, dude. You're welcome for the motivation, dude. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Hey Spencer, what's up, man? Good to see you, man. I'm uh, I'm always jazzed when I see the faces and names of the commenters of the guys that were just there at the very, very beginning. And Spencer was there from the friggin' start. He's got a badass Santa Cruz V10, so uh, it's, it's pretty dang cool. I'm gonna get back to Maui eventually and ride. Friggin' craziest rainstorm of all time in Maui <laughs> when I went there. <laughs> What's left to do on the bike? Oh, on this right here, this bike. I thought you meant like as in like the big grand scheme of things. <laughs> oh, I'm definitely going to make it to the uh, the UK. Orbea is hanging up in the garage gathering dust because the priority is riding the best trails in the world instead of uh, putting on the spandex. So it is what it is for now. We'll see if I ever get back there. Man, the shine on this thing is looking good. It is 11 p.m., Ray. I'm uh, I'm on the West Coast. Is that like English time, EPT? <laughs> dun, dun. Hey, I never said I hate Ontario. I don't think I've ever uh, said that. You got the wrong man. I, I can't hate something unless I've been there. The ring is pretty good. You know, it's just pretty, it's pretty passive, but it tracks my sleep. It tracks uh, my heart rate. No, no, I didn't say I hate Canada. I said I'm allergic to Canada. There's, that's definitely uh, two different things. <laughs> I know that, Nuggets. I know that. Got a little bit of a break rub going, so I'm gonna, uh... Canada's fantastic, man. It's a, such an awesome place. Oh, not the right one. I'm... I'll be able to eyeball this stuff eventually. Nope. All right, Lockie, get on that edit trip. That's how you do it. Just keep cranking them out. Hey, Nelson, good to see you, man. Oh yeah, I'll make it to, to Duluth, Mason. That's one of my goals for sure. This is, uh, come on, isn't the bike name in the title? Hey, what's up, Bradley? Good to see ya. 
I'm recognizing a lot of people all of a sudden hopping on at uh, 11.30. I can't see how... Uh... I am lucky, Jesse. It's really quite insane. But uh, I've, I've put a lot of work in getting lucky. Good night, dude. Thanks, No Name. Give him the jumps the best. Cumbria. Huh. Oh, that didn't make it better. <laughs> El Paso, Texas. Okay. My favorite mountain biker ever is my Uncle Dennis. I'm coming back to the Basque country for sure. It is going to happen. No do to boot it. Sweet. Yeah, boy. The harder you work, the luckier you get. Terrence Chin nailed it 100%. John, I don't want you to buy me one of these things. In Australia, it's fucking $1,000. This is my day job, Alfie. This is my day and night job. This is all day, every day. This is a, a demo bike. I'm gonna test this bike out for a couple weeks, take it to Switzerland, and have fun. Andy Clark having the morning uh, Coffee with the BKXC shirt on, hell yeah. That's so cool, dude. If you can, yeah, I, I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know, John. I, I don't want you spending money on the, getting the Garmin. If you could hook me up with someone at Garmin and I could email them and say, hey, I'd love to test it out. I appreciate the help. I just feel like it's a, it's a lot to ask. They aren't plus size tires. These rims are just wide as hell and the tires are huge. So they're, I gotta look at this again. They're 2.6 is in the front, 2.5 is in the rear. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, brakes will be fine. I'll get worn in. Thanks, Cody. I appreciate it. Yeah, the smell of fresh tires is pretty damn good. Good night, Matthias. It is a full suspension. It is a full suspension. Oh. Eight thirty-four a.m. in Stockholm. All right, let's make sure back brakes are feeling pretty good. Sweet, the bike is built. I feel like it is built, and that was not too bad. It only took me a pretty long time, but that's how we go. That's how that's how the BKXC mechanic. Uh, Stuff, stuff rolls. That's how we do it. Hello from the Czech Republic. 
think we already went over this when I'm coming to South Africa. You might have been a different person, but that's okay. John, you finally made it to a live stream just as it's ending. <laughs> uh, so Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, my videos are always out. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. <laughs> uh, sorry, bud. It's kind of kind of the way it goes. 11.30 at night. I still need to pack for the flight tomorrow. I still need to get this into the bike bag, but I want to go ride it around the block so I can actually, you know, feel if it's it's shifting fine. It's going to still be kind of funny. Good night, Rashid. Good night, Bill. Good night, y'all. <laughs> so this is, uh, oh, not replacing the Bronson. Just a different test ride. Ooh, these new grips. Hell yeah. Feels good. The bike is in the title. So, I'm feeling good about this. Thank you guys, that was a blast. I always have fun uh, doing these live streams, just hanging out and joking around. It really is some of the most fun I have. And to be able to do it while I'm already doing something, then uh, it's pretty awesome. So, with that, I'll say goodbye. Oh, we got a $5 super chat coming in. That's the, <laughs> that's the way to keep me, keep me going, <laughs> right as I'm gonna shut down. Andrew, Andrew. Andrew Raus, howdy from Southern Virginia, on the late night grind myself, eager to ride with you. Yeah, man, I, I, I recognize the avatar, I recognize the name. Thank you for that friggin' $5 super chat, dude. I appreciate it very, very much. Ah, I know, I gotta get up to Idaho. I definitely need to get up to Idaho. That's, that's what it's all about, buddy. Except for when it's uh, 87 degrees at night and midnight. All right, y'all. Peace out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the trail. And uh, a lot of good stuff coming. Uh, the videos that I've uh, been editing have been awesome. So really proud of it. Peace.